My <laughs> name is Brantley Mulligan. I'm your humble dungeon master. With me, as always, are our intrepid heroes. Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, hi intrepid heroes. heroes. Except for one of our intrepid heroes, who's on the 101 right now. Oh, he said Roast he it. forgot. Yeah, he was like, yeah, oh, yeah. is it Wednesday? He said he was microwaving a quesadilla and then was like, oh, I oh. gotta get there. Oh, the traffic in LA. <laughs> I guess for some people, like... you know, adventure is less important than, you know. Wow, <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, guys, this is Dimension 20 Live. Zach Oyama's gonna be here any minute now, but uh, the show must go on. And so here we are back in the world of Spire, following the Bad Kids, a group of teen adventurers from the Ed Fort Adventuring Academy, the world's premier high school for heroes. We find ourselves uh, midway through their spring break project to retrieve the lost crown of the Nightmare King that has brought them to the elven nation of Falinel. After rescuing uh, their party member, Adine Abernant, and her former uh, v villain in season one, sister, Aylwin Abernant from Colethiel Tower, our heroes have found themselves back in Kaido Minura the ancestral lands of uh, Fabian Seacasters, uh, mother side of the family, uh, a place where the rowdy teens of Falinel are banished until they get sad and wistful as all elves should be. Uh, we awaken the following morning with our various heroes. Uh, we've had uh, uh, Fig Fayette had a slumber party with uh, party ally Ida Eggfort. Uh, 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 Kristen Appleby's uh, still in the doghouse. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, Riz <laughs> Gutgak and Gorgug Thistle Spring, Spring kept a watchful eye over Fabian Seacaster, who danced all night danced long <laughs> after a powerful discovery of his relationship <laughs> to the elven magic of dance and a kiss with a fire elemental. You are so loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. This is the dance, right? It's you just. Really Loose. Like, Who just drinks Mai Tais before the camera rolls? Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> this uh, cup ain't full of water. Uh, and of course, Adine and Aylwin slept arm in arm. The last we truly left off was uh, a heartbreaking moment where our dear Adine Abernant went into the mind of her sister to find a charm an enchantment locked away, bound in Aylwin's natural abjurative magic, saying, despite all the torment and tribulation, let this be proof, I always knew there was just one person clever enough to find this, and having dispelled it, Adine reset uh, Aylwin's memory to a version that Aylwin had created, basically, at some point during her capture or after you guys had defeated her in your freshman year, she created a backup version of her mind far from where anyone but Adine could find it. Uh, and after all of the heartbreak that Adine had found in her sister's mind, Aylwin, as you remember her from freshman year, has had that version of her mind restored. Uh, I couldn't have one nice day with my sister. No. No, you couldn't. He's all the bad guys. <laughs> I am all the bad guys. Um, uh, we uh, return now, um, and I will ask for the rest of you who are waking up that morning, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess we'll start with um, you know, Kristen and Fig. Um, uh, you know, Fig, you awaken uh, next to a Ida who um, has like naturally curled her bird-like legs up against her chest um, and is, uh, she gets extremely hot while she sleeps. Just like, <laughs> kind of like an ember burning kind of sensation. Um, little trails of smoke come out of her nostrils, just. <laughs> ah, I was, no, I think you were asleep. Right, right. That's what I mean. Right, same difference. Good call. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now we're awake. <laughs> is the sleepover still happening, or is that considered concluded now? You know what? I'm glad you asked. Let's keep the sleepover going throughout the day. OK. 
okay, I don't fully understand, but I'm <laughs> going to basically take your lead and cool. follow along. Uh, does this mean I have to remain in my night garb, or can <laughs> I put on my normal daytime clothes? Um, you know, the thing is, at a sleepover, you could sleep in your daytime clothes. So sleepover, the the wardrobe is kind of like, do as whatever feels right to you. Okay, things rarely feel 100% right to me. You don't I'm have any outfit that feels good to you? I have outfits that feel good to me, yeah. but I worry about whether other people will like that. Does that make sense? Okay, well first off, everything you're wearing, everyone's been liking. Fantastic. Yeah. God, what a huge success. Yeah, Great. it's definitely been a success. So I think, you know what, I think you should go out on a limb and put on something that you like that you think other people won't like. Uh, you see that she just fully starts sweating and goes, and you would like that. Okay. I mean, yes, I would like that, but don't do it because of that. Okay. You've constructed a, a hellish riddle. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to attempt to solve the dilemma you've put in front of me, and I am going to go eat. Uh, uh, I am hungry, so I am going to go get food. Yeah. Um, and I'm not doing that because I think you'll like that. I just need to eat. Um, is that a success? <laughs> Do you think it's a success? Okay, this is hell. And you <laughs> see, she, she walks out of the room. Um, uh, Kristen, uh, you awaken in another uh, section of the hang van, mm -hmm. uh, uh, waking up by yourself once again. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, I've been in the doghouse for a long time, and I would like to start taking steps to get out. So I think I'm just gonna kind of, are the books that we got out of the vaults in the van with us? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just gonna kind of start reading those and seeing if I can find anything helpful or like interesting. I would like to like maybe investigate those. Give me a religion check. Oh, That's a vantage, baby. We're gonna be a religion. Mm. Mm. You love to see it. <laughs> that is a 22. 22. Get away. <laughs> shoo, shoo. Uh, okay. So, your proactivity in the Compass Points Library, having grabbed that kind of pirate esque Tomb Raider's <laughs> Guide to a lot of stuff. Um, the book you took from Arianwin's research, so the book you grabbed when the tower was about to collapse, which is the big religious text, mm -hmm. uh, has a lot of seemingly contradictory stuff. And the text you have now is a lot older. Um, so what you find in this text, cross-referenced to what you got from the compass points, is pretty damn intense. You find a religious text manufactured by high elven clerics of Galakea, who is the goddess of the moon, the same goddess that Tracker worships, right? Um, obviously, uh, Track. Oh! Oh, oh look who it is! Okay. Okay. You're saying I'm in Pasadena. <laughs> Ooh, that it was, was pretty, so that melty. Was pretty late to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had I had my alarm set, but the quesadilla shorted out. The, <laughs> Have you been listening live? Uh, no. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, it's live, baby. We live streaming. Um, uh, as you're saying, Tracker was. <laughs> Tracker is a cleric of Galakea as well, uh, the goddess of the moon. Um, what you observe, or what you, I guess what you glean from this book, is these are an assembled number of texts and epistles from high elven clerics of the goddess of the moon. Um, as they were basically keeping like a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, Are you so being Skyped right now? I am being <laughs> Skyped at this. <laughs> this is live, baby. Live, baby. Everybody's unprofessional today. This, this so, is the thing now, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> to... Did you schedule an interview for this time? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. I'm getting Skyped. Uh, please, nobody Skype. Skype. <laughs> um, 
Everybody uh, who has Brennan Skype, please <laughs> Skype him right uh, now. Uh, I get phone calls. Whatever way I get contacted, my computer makes a million noises <laughs> about it, uh, and I can't make it stop. Um, what? That's a uh, So. Uh, <laughs> What you find are that these high elven clerics have recorded a number of texts and epistles from nearly a millennia ago, like uh, uh, roughly 850 years ago, um, uh, or you know between 850 to 900 years ago, immediately following, during, and around the time period of the last great Sylvan War, the time where all of the tribes of Silver, centaurs, tree, and sprites, and wood elves were in combat, right? Um, the different similar references to gods of the tribes you find in these more ancient texts appear to refer to a united goddess of Silver. that in these texts are referred to almost as a younger sister of the goddess of the moon, of Galakea you find no reference to the name of this goddess anywhere in the text. But from what you can see, the unifying principles of this like one soul goddess of Silver <clears throat> was that she was primarily a goddess of mystery. And as you start to read about this, um, there are literal references in these books to uh, what these high elven clerics call uh, the Silverian heresy, which is that a lot of the gospel of this goddess, because she was a goddess of mystery, and sort of mystery and also night and magic, sort of like the mysteries of nighttime, the mysteries of the unknown, the mysteries of magic itself, but a lot of her gospel and doctrine was about the idea of mystery and being praised or worshipped through <clears throat> doubt, through a love of the unknown. And obviously the moment that Kristen reads that, it's a kind of intense moment here. That's the, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, the praised through doubt? <laughs> I can do um, that. There are texts within here that are epistles from these high elven hierarchs that basically a lot of the motivation of the last Sylvan War was religious differences between the tribes about how the, what the correct way to worship their shared goddess of mystery and the night was, right? And these high elven clerics came in to broker a truce and basically said, you are committing a heresy because your goddess has uh, definitive facts about which there can be disagreement. And it looks like these high elves, as a part of their clergy, advised the tribes that they were counseling through being a third party mediating this truce, advised them to, through official doctrine and through basically a combination of like a council and a ritual act of divine magic, we're basically advising the tribes of Silver to destroy their goddess's name. Destroy your goddess's name because the fact that she has a name uh, is somehow a heresy because she's a goddess of mystery and she shouldn't therefore have a name. There shouldn't be things that are understood about her because any uh, hard and concrete facts about her would of course be a heresy, right? So this sort of, weird logical theological position. Um, and you see that there are texts bound into the tome that Ariane had collected, which were not included in these original tomes or doctrines, that are ancient scrolls and messages from the clergy of Falinel at the time that seem to suggest that their advisement, that the tribes band together, perform this ceremony and destroy or unmake, they never use the word destroy, they always are very careful to use kinder term than that, unmake, right? Release or free or liberate the name of this goddess. In the correspondence between the clergy themselves at the time, uh, there is some indication 
that this advice may not have been in good faith on the part of the high elven clergy, that there may have been uh, agreement between the high elven clerics of Galakea that this could be something they could do to weaken the position of that other goddess and create a possibility for their church to expand into Silver. Whoa. Um, and uh, that is what, on a 22 religion check. Uh, wow, damn. Some okay. really intense stuff. Cool. Um, uh, Riz and Gorgug, you guys have dew on your body. The sun has come up and I think, you know, you kind of awaken and see Fabian <laughs> in the morning light. Just dance, dance, dancing away. Right where we left him. <laughs> I wake up doing that nodding uh, bearded dude meme, just looking at Fabian. <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> the Robert Redford, yeah, the one, yeah, exactly, the, the yeah. quick nod, yeah. Um, <laughs> He's uh, really doing it. Uh, I don't know what, but it. He, whatever he's doing, he believes it. Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> he's back, baby. Oh. <laughs> um, Good morning. Uh, beautiful. Um, uh, Fabian. As you dance, your body is experiencing a like full state exhaustion euphoria from dance. You just feel so connected to your body, so like warm and alive and passionate. And um, as you look up in the dawn light and the dew aligns across the grass, walking across the grass, the leaves of the grass not even bending at the approach of her footsteps uh, in her black on black kimono with some chunky travel sunglasses and like a huge purse uh, is your mother. Uh, what? A hilarious sea caster. What? Oh. Uh, I stop dancing. Uh, As you begin to stop, she drops her purse, removes her chunky sunglasses, blearily at the sun, <laughs> folds them, and goes, never on my account, and begins to. <laughs> <laughs> takes a huge sheet out of, out of her purse, begins to dance. Are the sheets necessary? I, I, don't I guess wanna... she brought that okay. with um, her. Mother, have you always had a sheet? Okay. I can't explain through words. I can only explain through the dance. <laughs> um, you see that uh, Cathilda, um, who has gotten back into like her just like trainers and gray sweats, comes out full weeping and she can't dance like you two can dance, but she just does full sprints and then leaps. <laughs> around the edge of the meadow as you guys continue to dance, just full weeping uh, I mean, uh, and I leaping. I gotta play music along with this. <laughs> I mean, we're having a party here. Uh, Fig comes out and... Like some explosions in the sky, Friday Night Live kind of music. <laughs> really ambient. This is more ambient than I usually do, just so everyone knows. Right. I didn't feel super comfortable with dancing like an elf because I don't think I could pull it off, but I can do this. Uh, and I follow Cathilda and I freak out. <laughs> Freaking out along with her. Real nerd kid, like really aggressive moves, um, just like. <laughs> like you're running to lunch. Like yeah, just like a ska, yeah. Just like a ska kid freaking out. <laughs> yes, the ball. Feel it. I feel no. it. I'm skanking. I'm skanking. Get in there. Ida, Skank get in the there. ball. Skank. <laughs> um, uh, Ida goes in and um, I take out just looks around. Ida looks immediately and says, "Dance. You want me to dance? Yeah. Get okay. Into it. Um, she just starts rhythmically stamping her talons yeah. back and forth and kind of, you know, bobbing her. Kogan okay. picks up Riz and starts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. The dance uh, is freeing us all. <laughs> uh, uh, Telemine comes out and has 
completely disrobed, <laughs> except for like a huge ritual silk what diaper. Have I you know, kind done? of silk diaper. <laughs> you know, kind of like sumo, where it's like it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, made. Yeah. It's it's not really a. Yeah, you know. It's it's like it's like silk ropes like and wrap, bound, yeah. and there's some like kind of like spikes of fabric coming off of it. But he comes out, and you see, he has this huge moss covered. Uh, st perfectly spherical stone, and he's just doing contact juggling with it <laughs> on his like naked body. Burning man. Um, and you see, he like contact juggles it over to Hilarial, who it becomes immediately clear the way they're like weeping in deep eye contact that they haven't spoken, and she hasn't returned in like a long, long time. Uh, it's just a beautiful continuing dance. Um, uh, and finally, as the sun rises, um, naturally it just fades into like the dance quiet and Hilarial and Telamine end up on the ground. And you see that, you know, like Hilarial invites you in the dance to come until the three of you, like three generations of this family, your heads are all like n right next to each other, staring up into the sky together as like the clouds move. Um, uh, and you see that uh, Telemine looks up and goes, that cloud looks like a song. And you see Hilarial in Elvish goes, you got it. No! She, uh, if is there was a cell the tower, goes, is the song played on the marimba? And it's just very little go. marimba. Uh, she looks up and begins to describe as well what different clouds look like uh, with no formal greeting between her and her father. Um, and uh, after a certain amount of time passes, uh, Telemine stands and says, my daughter has returned. The feast shall be laid out in her honor. That you have come here is the greatest honor in the past hundred, hundred years. And you see Hilaria looks over and goes like, I was here, you know, 18 years ago. That, it's not been that long. Right. Because here's a weird thing about time. It'll say things are going to get done like it tomorrow, but tomorrow is like 60 years. I'm glad years. you've gotten to spend some time with your grandfather. He's <laughs> fun. Um, you see that um, uh, Cathilda uh, walks up, uh, and you see that um, Hilarial looks at uh, Cathilda, gives her a kiss on both cheeks, uh, and looks at you, Fabian, and says, I think I'm going to go on a walk with Cathilda and have a little talk. You're welcome to come if you'd like, Fabian. I'd like to. Uh, and you guys go to walk throughout the grottos and gardens together. Um, and. Hilarial just goes into detail talking about, you know, different memories of growing up here and just doing the things that like a mom would do if she had taken her son to where she grew up. Did you eat the grapes, mother? So many grapes. Really? And yes. And did they just, I, I never ate one. Did they just like, <clears throat> did they just suppress how ho horny you are? Is that really it? Is it just like a, it just oh, brings you? Darling Fabian, the grapes don't work. What? They don't, they are supposed to suppress the innate horniness of the youths here. Yes. And boy, let me tell you, it does not work. <laughs> oh. I grew up here and basically it, the adults were like, the grapes are definitely working. <laughs> and just, I can just promise you, I, again, grew up here. I wasn't sent here, I grew up here. Yes. And when I was, you know, 16, 17, here on the grounds of the grotto, let me tell you, a wild time. Good. She good. touches your cheek. A wild time. I, I can imagine. Yes. <laughs> People seem very rowdy. Yes, of course. Yeah. The, it's a bad plan. <laughs> to take all the put them all teens in and put them yes. in a place with extremely few adults around. Telemines, dude, he's not. My dad's not. 
checking up on these kids. He's wandering around grabbing flowers and turning into sand. He's not, it's a bad plan. It's a bad plan, for sure. Teens should, I, in an ideal world, if you wanted to stop the nonsense, you would keep teens away from each other. Yeah. Kind of crazy to get all those hormones in the same spot all cooped up like that. Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing that all the teens are together. No. Doing stuff. No. It's kind of like all. our school, but. It's kind of like Eggfold. Exactly, yeah. darling, yes. Um, uh, she continues uh, to walk with you, uh, and we're going to uh, cut over to the hot springs right now, where uh, Adine, uh, you are gazing right now um, at your sister, Aylwin, who is still in her body, but is otherwise um, very, like, possessed again of her demeanor that you recognize. She... Oh, my. Well, we're in Fallon now. That much is obvious. And... Do you not remember? I'm afraid I remember everything up until I stashed my mind away where those elves couldn't find it. But I'm afraid the recent events, although I'm not sure how recent the events are, uh, is gone. I can assume because I'm in this nice hot tub and you just found what you found, that I am not in immediate danger of being killed by you. Is that a fair assessment? It depends on whether I'm about to be killed by you. You see that she sort of looks around and says, it doesn't seem like anyone's casting any spells. So that's an exciting development. Feel free to catch me up to speed if you I like. I need you to look. I need you to see. I need you to look in my mind and see what happened to you. Ah, uh, you wish for me to see the degree. And she looks at her hands, looks at her like reflection in the water and goes, ah, uh, I've been very badly tortured. Is that, un is that correct? I need you to know what they did to you so you don't go back to them. Back to who? To them, to our parents. Ah. What do you mean, ah? Um, you should understand, Adam, that ah. <clears throat> All right. I am obviously at a disadvantage in this conversation because there is a great deal of information that you have that I don't. So, before I look into your mind, why don't you just briefly explain what the most urgent pieces of information are? I assume you retrieved me from some sort of elven custody. The last thing I remember is I was being broken out of prison in Elmville by elven agents. That was nine months ago? You've been kept awake and aware and unable to do magic for that whole time. And? Our father was going to kill me? Kill us? I don't know. It. Give me an insight check. Ten. Gotcha. Um, Aylwin. Do you have a bardic inspiration? Didn't I give you a bardic inspiration I used you didn't it. use? Oh. Uh, Aylwin looks at you, and as you begin saying that, her gaze kind of wanders over. Uh, she says, mm. I don't know, our parents 
are not on the same side, the both of them. What? There is a great deal going on that, um, that I cannot explain right now. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Point well made. No, 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 no. Your no. no eloquence, as ever, is legendary. I'm, excuse me, for not being the most eloquent person in the world when. Well, I've apparently been tortured for nine months and I'm managing quite oh, well. Oh, please, I can't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the way of sleep. <laughs> I get throw up in the hot tub. Uh, <laughs> you cast Ray of Sickness on her? Um, uh, oh, I don't, I don't have you don't, oh, Gotcha. Um, you see, she looks at you and says, all right. Anything that I can explain, I will try to. What is, I'm still very feeble and I want to understand my situation to the best of my ability. What is most urgent for us to understand right now? Are we in danger of being found by the elves that took me hostage? Are we? I think it's possible. Uh, I think that we should leave as soon as we can. We're still in Falinel, which means that we're under Falinel law. It's possible that our father is dead. I don't know. I wasn't really caring that much. Rocks were falling. We needed to leave. He tried to kill me. Uh -huh. Yes. <sighs> what side is everybody on? Why am I always the last person to find anything out in our family? It's rather funny, given that you are a diviner. You'd think you'd know oh, things. Oh, yes. What? Very, all of the jokes <laughs> about me being a diviner are very funny. <laughs> um, you see that she says, uh, Adine, I can't explain why you're the last to find everything out. I think perhaps our parents wanted you to prove something to them before they entrusted you with certain information, but that's neither here nor there and a great deal has changed. You are I'm trying to think how to phrase this. If nine months have passed, I'm sure that much has changed. And while I am very glad that I was able to protect my mind from the base, crude depredations of the Court of Stars and the Elven government, I am a little bit rattled and at a disadvantage. So, um, you have helped me. We are not currently in the same violent throes that we found ourselves at ostentatious uh, little shindig. You have saved me, and I owe you at least a repayment for that favor that you have done me. Well, yes, and also the many times that you tried to kill me. If you don't remember being tortured, I don't know. I, you're... I tried to kill you one time. Let's not expand mm. it into dozens of times. Let's not rewrite history. Well, and you kidnapped a bunch of girls and... Were those girls you? That was you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Does it make it less bad that it was not me? Oh, my goodness. Are the girls dead or are they all fine? Because we saved them. Yeah, I, I thought you were probably going to do that. Oh, you thought we were probably going I to do that. I thought you were probably... Right, you're, yeah, oh, yes, of course. Listen, you're you've personally... met... You don't think I can do anything? Oh, pish posh. I... You, I... Okay, well, clearly I thought you could find a thing. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and fall into your traps to give you more oh, compliments I'm than I've already one. given you. I'm the one setting traps. You met I'm... Golden Horde, right? Did you really think that I thought that that guy was going to what, win? He no. was a dragon! Oh no, a he dragon! A dragon! They're so what, big? Oh my yes, god! Yes, they're really <laughs> big! He's so big, what's he, he might... He's gonna burn things one at a time as he, what, flies so around? You were, oh, so you teamed up with him for what? For why? Something of a lark. It's fun. I, I, I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on her. Um, <coughs> uh, she <laughs> laughs a little bit too hard and fully passes out. Just Great. Sinks into the Good. hot tub a little bit. Um, 
Um, you see that uh, uh, some of the elven staff come over and pluck her unconscious out of the water and go, uh, uh, Miss Avenant, elven oracle, uh, oracle of our people, where should we deposit your unconscious sister? Put her in the van. All right. Into the put van. Her in the van. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, so the rest of you guys are sort of going about your business. I assume you guys meet back up. Um, uh, you've read this crazy stuff here. Mm -hmm. Fabian, up to you if you want to stay on the walk with your mom and people, you want to group back up with people. Can, can I just privately um, ask Telemine a question? Sure. He's still in his like ceremonial sort of like uh, uh, you know, undercarriage cloth. Okay, so I, I keep my eye level, like, you know, up here. He's, mm -hmm. he's, uh, uh, has that, like, again, like, extremely fit old man body. So there's, like, skin is, like, a little bit looser, but there's a lot of visible muscles. <laughs> Very, just like. Um, I, uh, I take out the gem that, um, Vorthalax is in, and, uh, I just want to kind of secretly show it to him and say, um, I was wondering if you know a spell called Plane Shift? Uh, he extends his hand to the ruby. Takes it, looks at it. You were asking me if I know the secrets of walking between the worlds. Yes. <laughs> to tread the paths beyond as lightly as the mighty tear. Yeah. Treads the paths of the forest. Stealing the words from my lips. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I snatch it back. He looks and says, <clears throat> However, I am the lord of Kylo Minura. If you were to allow me time to study the gem, I could perhaps find a way to, while it was within my sanctum, open a door from here to the space within the gem. You are a super nice man who takes a really long time doing stuff. I think I'm gonna hope I run into someone who knows <coughs> plane shift along my ways. Thank you for the offer though. I could just, you know, give it a once over, you know, for, you know, a few days or years. What's short? Okay. Uh, I kind of live in the minute, mm -hmm. but I'd settle for days. Okay. Well, you know, I can take a whack at it, and if you want to come get it, then I'll just give it to you, and. You know, if, I, if I'm taking too long, you could just stop me. <coughs> um, but it's up to you, whatever you would like. <coughs> okay. Give me a second to think about it, and, and before we leave, Ock, I'll follow up. I will be out in the yard juggling this stone. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do that, but you can't walk between the worlds. <coughs> if the worlds were a stone ball and the mm -hmm. paths were my arms, yeah, huh? and my feet could be up on my arms instead of my hands, Yeah. then, you know, then that would be something. That would be something. <laughs> juggle, juggle, roll <laughs> off into the woods. I pocket my dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, could I go find Elwyn in the van really quick? Uh, uh, yeah, you find her in the van. She's unconscious. Yeah, can I do a cure wounds on her and try to bring her back to consciousness? Um, uh, yeah, you can go for it. Um, she, uh, you cast your wounds. It d does appear to help her injury somewhat, but she's probably just going through another trance or like long rest mm. to like get another level of exhaustion off. Okay, Those cool. Pieces. It can wait. Yeah, cool, cool. that's fine. I wanted um, to give her some hit points. Here's what I would like to do to Aelwyn. Sure. Talk about this for a frickin' divination. <laughs> all right. First of all, I would like to cast detect thoughts on her. Mm hmm uh, she's asleep, um, so mm -hmm. um, I want to see what I can find um, about our parents that she's maybe hiding from me. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Um, <laughs> she uh, 
My spell save is 16. Mm -hmm. She saves against the spell as you attempt to cast it. Okay, uh, then I try again. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, on the second one, she fails. Great. Um, uh, she's like unconscious in trance, so her surface thoughts are not mm -hmm. super helpful. Um, what do you begin to like push through to? I would like to find out about our mother. Hell Because yes. I have a pretty clear idea of what our dad was doing, or I feel like I do. Yeah. I imagine I'm standing there too, right? Can I... Yeah, you. Kinda, I, I tell you what I found in this book oh, wow. that your mom was writing, and like about this like <coughs> potential younger sister of the moon yeah. goddess. Oh, I also have research from her. I'll look into that afterwards. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I have a um, a shard of a gem. Oh, that it's... brought the tower down. That's nice. Oh, that's yeah, pretty. Yes, yeah, pretty. It could be a necklace. It could be a brooch. Interesting. I think I'll use it as a pick. Oh, yeah. Cool. No, that's cool. Yeah. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, anyway, what were you doing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? Did I interrupt you? <laughs> I'm really trying. This is a concentration spell. Hey, oh, I'm we here can't as well. say the goddess's name. Yeah. Oh, I'm also, I go okay. in with Gorgon. I, uh, I just think here. it's so great that Adam hey. and Melvin uh, have been able to pass things off. It's like Water it really makes me think, mm -hmm. why did I kill Daybreak? I could have turned a corner, maybe. Yeah. But now, Something oh, to think about. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think maybe Daybreak just, would be doing right now? That's a good question. Are you kidding maybe me? trying to kill us. <gasps> yeah, true. So, you know. Yeah. Nice. What were you saying? Um, as you probe <laughs> deeper into her thoughts, so the, the thing that is looming the largest in her mind right now, um, and the thing that your insight check failed to see, uh -huh. <clears throat> When she was looking away from you, <clears throat> over your shoulder, Kalina was talking to her. <gasps> the shadow cat was directly over your shoulder, speaking to Aelwyn. Um, That's what I was gonna try to do. I was gonna try to have her look at the photo and see if she saw the cat. Uh, and Kalina was saying, um, uh, effectively, uh, this is a very recent short-term memory. Aelwyn's mind is, uh, Sleeping is good because she doesn't know you're casting a spell on her, but her thoughts are not as clear as they would be okay. if she was awake and listening to you. So, so, and she's also in a weird, like, she's unconscious but doesn't sleep, she trances, so it's like a weird, hazy, liminal space. But you see Kalina basically saying, don't keep looking at me, look back to your sister, your sister's talking. Here's what you need to know. You've reset your mind and missed a great deal of information. Your mother is working for me. She has the crown. She's brought it to Silver. You, uh, she's like, um, get away from your sister. We need to talk about what's happening. Um, uh, the, give me an insight check. Can I give you the help action? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Great. Uh, 17. Oh no, 18. Kalina is speaking to Aelwyn with an incredible amount of familiarity, as okay. though they have spoken before many times. Great. I can see Kalina in this memory? You can see Kalina in this memory. Great. Um, that's all the information that I'm gonna get from this memory? Yep. Great. I cast Scrying and she gets a one. <laughs> because I rolled a one for my divination yeah. roll. Yeah. Kalina rolled a nat one on my scrying. We leveled up. I have scrying now. Oh, that's right. Everyone and I'm leveled. using my divination magic for good. I get one of those twos back. Ooh, baby. <laughs> ah, everyone's, magic. Everyone's ninth level now. Incredible. So you peer into Elwin's mind, see that she can see Kalina, see that Kalina's familiar with her. Kalina tells her, uh, your mother has the crown and is working for me. Um, uh, <coughs> you see that. Um, so tell me where Kalina is right now, please. Here's what I'm gonna describe on that, that one. Uh, so you see like Aelwyn doing, uh, uh, oh, sorry, you see that basically Aelwyn is stretched out on the ground, uh, unconscious, or on the van unconscious, and you see Adine Pulse, you're in Falinel, this like elven oracle thing. Adine's hair, like Miyazaki wind, eyes go brilliant white, and you just do this double dip into a detect thoughts, straight into a powerful scrying. I'm gonna describe what Sick. you see Sick. with scrying now. 
Um, you are so deeply confused by the scrying that you get back. You had heard that Kalina was difficult to scry on, uh -huh. but you are literally using your elven oracular ability to reach out and say, this time it works. Fate itself is in your hands. Um, you are in a small village in the Red Waste. There is an orcish man with a long scimitar walking along with a dark cloak. Uh, a second later, you are looking at a um, uh, light blue robed elven individual in a council meeting with a picture of Arthur Eggfort. A moment later, there is a wood elf ranger walking with a wolf animal companion next to the border of Silver. Uh, less than a fraction of a second later, you see that there is uh, another high elf who is just like in a tavern enjoying a breakfast in like a port city on the edge of Falinel. A moment later, you see that there is a like sh enormous beast that has like claw marks and wounds on it, walking through uh, like some weird, nasty, dark, tangled, evil-looking forest. Bam, flash, 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 flash. You see images of all these people who are not Kalina over and over and over and over. Um, and after a moment, you see um, uh, it goes, uh, it goes Riz, Tracker, Sandra Lynn, Kristen, looking, and you see you're scrying on Kristen, and when it gets to Kristen, it stops. Uh, Kristen, where are you looking right now? At Anaheim. Um, you see uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> you uh, flash to um, a uh, a uh, horrifying, dark, tangled forest. You see that there is a wood elf covered in open claw wounds that look like they've been festering for a hundred years. Their eyes are like covered in pus and gore. They're like, they look uh, not zombified in, ne in a necromantic way. It's almost like a biological, they look like alive, but like covered in wound, open sores and festering things. They are covered partially in vines. Like they've been sitting, resting against a tree for like a hundred years. And you see that there is a vine in their mouth that is dripping blood like sap from the vine into their mouth. The vines retract from your scrying. You see that this elf stands up, grabs a old, ancient, knotted spear, and begins to scratch something into the ground that from your scrying sensor is obscured by their old tattered cloak. They turn to look and look directly into your sensor, and what they have scratched into the ground in Elvish says, Hello, Adine. Glad you could join me. Who are you? Can they, can they hear me? They can't. Can you see me? Um. Who are you? Uh, the moment after you see that, your scrying moves back to Kristen. And, and so you see yourself. So you're scrying on Kalina and you're seeing Kristen. And you're seeing yourself say those things. What? What are you talking about? But I'm still scrying and I see Kristen. Yep. Yeah. So she's here. We're gonna start punching around his head. I'm gonna say the scrying the scrying spell comes okay. to an end. And can I can see, you the, see the picture now? Yeah. Um you look at the picture and cannot see Kalina. No, I can't see it, but I know what she looks like. Hmm. Say do you really say, say, Kal say Kalina. Kalina. Can not, can she see the picture now? No. The only time you've seen Kalina was in Aylwin's memory of Kalina. So does that mean that I have seen Kalina? Can I do detect magic on Kristen? Mm -hmm. um, you cast detect magic. Uh, give me an arcana check. 
can I give you can give the help, help yeah. on, on checking me out? Oh, thank goodness you did, because the other one was a two. That's a um, hmm. <laughs> 27. Okay. Um, you're, you're casting Arcana on Kristen. There are no active spells on Kristen. There are Can no I, 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 enchantments. There are no... Is there... I'm, am I caught up to speed? Are uh, we I'm going to say that I'm going to ask that you guys come back together. Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you sharing <laughs> this? Yeah, I, yes. I, okay. scried for, I scried for Kalina and... I saw all of these different people, and then Can I saw- Can we message this? Sorry. You saw me? We're just in the and same Kristen. spot you, now, right? I saw you, and I saw Sandra yeah. Lynn, oh, yeah, and I saw yeah. your mom, and I saw Kristen, yeah. and Tracker. Those all the people that can see Kalina. Did you see and, me? And, and saw, Sandra Lynn. And you saw- and Sandra Lynn. And you saw a wood elf? And a wood elf in who said, hello, Adine, thank you for joining me, or something? Is it? Do okay. I, is, do I know where the elf is that Rog hooked up with? Uh, you can go find Fethethriel. Uh, I go look for Fethethriel. I'll see if we can get um, Fethethriel. You go to over to like a, a little orchard. You see that Rog is sitting there just very stoically. And you see that Fethethriel is like sort of lounging next to Rog and slowly feeding him one grape at a time. Rog's going, good. These grapes are K good. Gorgug, what's up, dude? Do you need me? Uh, yeah, but also. I gotta go, dude. And he's uh, I just wanted to, if I could have taken the picture with me, can that elf see? Um, you see Fethrethriel looks and goes, ah, it is a very small painting of a goblin and a tabaxi woman. I think it's passed by touch or something. It's like a disease Kristen, or something. Kristen, touch me. What? It's like Tracker gave it to you. How? Tracker looks at you and goes, yeah, but uh, how did Sandra Lynn give it to you? She maybe did it, or did she? It could be well, a she, love thing or something because it's yeah. it, it it could be like a betrayal. Well, or something. well there's been a lot of fighting going Betray on. Is it through like disagreement or something? Wait, we got in a fight. What couldn't Guardy see it after yeah. Sandra Lynn? So Guardy Gar was involved in the affair. That involves you, that involves Tracker. But Sandra Lynn could already uh, see it too. Sandra Lynn. So Sandra Lynn was a carrier into or, this whole group. Or house? I had already. I could see it too. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Fig, you can't see it. Spit it in this cup. It probably shouldn't be love because I hope my mom loves me. No, I think it's betrayal. Sandra Lynn goes, something. I love you, sweetie. Sandra Lynn goes, look, I, um, and you see, she's like, I guess everyone knows that I slept with Gardy. Galera goes, well, well, well. <laughs> Looks Galeer, like. how does that feel? Can you see it? Uh, Galeer looks at it and says, I think we all know I can't see anything. <laughs> Come on, Galeer. I'm okay. with you, Galeer. That's I guess I got your... So it's a, a, perhaps a sexual thing, perhaps a betrayal thing? Uh, tra Tracker looks and says, My mom I did, did not sleep with... And you see that Tracker looks over at Sandra Lynn and says, I didn't sleep with Sandra Lynn. Sandra Lynn looks over and says, is there any other time that we could have exchanged a... Yeah, didn't you do that weird heel on her? You see Tracker looks oh, over and goes, I did. Yes. Sandra Lynn nods and says, yeah, you, you did the life transference spell. And you see that yes. um, Tracker holds her head and goes, oh my God, I got you sick with an it's STD. It's okay, it's okay, I put my hand on her shoulder. It's Honestly, fine. It's you see, you see it's Sandra Lynn says, not an STD, it. it's communicated through blood as well. Wait, I didn't, a lot of us. Also, those of us who can't see, yeah. see can't see it, wish we could see it. So, so it's kind of a cool thing. So, uh, so, so if I drink somebody's blood, I can see it? I'll drink blood. I think that, I'm down as I well. Think I, think that that might mean, I think that might mean Kalina can see yes, through us. I yes, that's what I think. So, yeah. so we've been working under the assumption that maybe the Nightmare King and this god with no name are the same person. I think it's possible that you saw the Nightmare King in the forest and Kalina is the god with no name and so is trying too. to get the crown and the oh, Nightmare King yes. and Kalina are actually against each other. Yes. Are you saying the goddess of mystery is the Nightmare King? Is Kalina. Kalina is the goddess is, of mystery. Yeah. yeah. But that would make a lot of sense because oh. she's so fucking secretive. But she, why would Because she doesn't have a name, she doesn't have to, <clears throat> she yes. doesn't apply by the rules. Yeah. So she doesn't Wait, have a- Wait, hang on a, a second. Not having a name is a power. I think there's research here from my mom, but if she's working with Kalina, she would already know it. Right. So why don't she we might do- not, she, she might be, I, I thought your sister said she was working with the Nightmare King. 
What? Or is she working with Kalina? No, she's no, she has Kalina. The, she's working with Kalina. We just know she has, she has the, the crown. crown. We don't know who she's bringing it to. Okay. Mm. Just, um, you see that uh, Cathilda speaks up and says, wait, but uh, you were saying something about, the, about the, the research you got from your mum's place. Yeah. It seems like there's a, a trove of information from, from Calethriel Tower. Um, yeah. If we, if if just from the book that Kristen read, we found out, you know, as much as we did, yeah. um, uh, you see that Telamine somersaults up with the stone and goes. <laughs> there are many rooms within Kylo Manura where some might. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Uh, there. I uh, ask chat if you can where we left off. It felt like that was the path it took. The blood to, yeah, to yeah. get who saw it last. What do you mean? In the scrying. Like, it does. It did seem like that. Yeah. yeah. It was Riz first, right? Yeah. yeah. Then Kalina. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sorry. Riz first, and then um, Sandra, Sandra Lynn. Sandra Lynn and, and, and could always Riz's see it, though, mom right? could always see it. Okay. We could. Uh, uh, in the chat, please tell me the last thing that happened before we went out. I don't want you guys to miss anything. We saw it. Hold on. We figured it out. We figured it out in the in-between. Oh, yeah. yeah we, Hold on. Uh, I'm Jenny the Nightmare Evan. King. What? Uh, it said something Adam was saying. Riz made the connection. I got this research from, okay. My mother's research yes. was the last thing. I yeah. got my mother's research. We should look into that. Can I, I want to message Fig, mm -hmm. like, Hey, there, there is. Hey, there are some things I feel like we should not say in front of the people who are infected. Okay. So, like, it, just some of these plans around Kalina, I think that should just be the four of us that can't see him. You're see messaging her. her. Yes, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do some. We're gonna no, do some you don't have to tell me. You don't have to do, so should those of us who are infected just blindfold ourselves if she's looking through our eyes? I, I mean, it's up to you guys. I, I, she's, if, if we think she's a nameless god, then she is a god. I don't know how much, how sneaky we can be. Yeah. There's, she has some weakness or else she'd just come well, she and kill us Well, she has a right name, now. it's just been destroyed. We just have to find the name. Can I look through all of this like bulk <clears throat> research and writings and stuff that we got and look for Kalina or Shadow Cat or like any of these kind of like Yeah, can names? I go through the stuff that I had and use Boggy to? Um, you guys have a tremendous amount of stuff, right. especially for what you gained here. Um, uh, if you guys want to go comb through your stuff, cross-reference, and get all this new data, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Telemine says there's, there's, there's like research and study halls in Kyla Manure. You guys are welcome to go and like take whatever mm. books he has there. I'm worried and, that the elves are going to come after us since we're still in Palinel. Uh, Ida speaks up and says, um, if need be, I can bring us back to the compass points. I would love that. I would yeah. prefer cool. that. Let's do it. Oh, do um. Do you? Sorry. Oh, sorry. We Are could you... also teleport away if things go bad, right? Well, Ida's is the one with teleport. Right. So yes, if we are with Ida, yes. Okay. I'd love to talk to Tracker really quick. Cool. Uh, Tracker looks up and goes, "Hey." Um. Well, scary, right? Yeah. There is. <laughs> um. So I actually learned a spell, um, so that you don't have to keep doing, uh, your. Moonhaven. I, I learned this spell called Hollow, and I can cast it on the van, and it just is permanent. It's like a permanent Moonhaven. Um, awesome. Uh, um, go ahead, and if you'd be so kind, uh, give me a uh, persuasion roll with uh, advantage. Can I, uh, as I see uh, Kristen going to talk to Tracker, Tracker I'm gonna wink give at a little it. wink Ooh. for Bardic Inspiration. You got it. You got this, Kristen. Oh, sorry. You got this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna need that part. What's that, a D8? D8. Huh. Persuasion. Oh, you know, we're okay. Hey, everyone, calm down. It's a 15. Cool. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. Um, you see that um, she looks over at you and says, um, awesome. Yeah. Um, if you, if you want to, like, collab on uh, yeah that'd be great it takes 24 hours to cast so okay I, I just need to stay up for that long but it should be um do we want to do we want to head back to leviathan and then uh, yeah what do you think that sounds like a good it seems like people want to kind of jet out of here totally. so maybe we 
Dude, this yeah. place, I look at Toma and if he's nearby, it's great here. Um, Are you guys gonna use the research halls? We put out some, some sort of very cool citrus water. There's a, there's a fruit that grows here that tastes almost like nothing. Oh. Do you have any books that we could borrow? It would be for a very short amount of time, relatively, but a second, really. If it's only for a second, you may have every single book I know about. I start talking. I go, I just put them yeah. all, as many as I can into the Looney. briefcase of holders. I also, I want to specifically search for if there's any books about the um, about the rock and roll concert where everyone yeah. was pregnant. Cool. Um, you guys immediately go to this dude's library, and what you oh, see no. is hundreds of elven scrolls about centering yourself, finding healing calm, Great. and just general oneness. Nothing about, nothing Think about immaculate conception via rock music. There is not a goddamn useful book in this guy's whole. I'll take some library. of these meditation things. This sounds useful to me. <laughs> um, uh, uh, maybe can Tracker help me kind of track down these like herbs and incense and oils and stuff that I have to like. Yes, you get, believe me. They got plenty of oils, aromatic oils at Kylo Manure. You better believe they got those. And I feel like I'm talking to her about her god, like Gala. Galafea, yeah. Yeah about like how this might be her sister and just like trying to hear more about like her her god. Uh, do you mention the parts to Tracker about the like- I mention everything to Tracker from now on immediately. <laughs> yeah. okay? I message Tracker the minute I take a shit. <laughs> um, She's gotta know. She's gotta know, okay? I'm not gonna do that again. Um, well awesome. behaved. Um, yeah, uh, I tell her the sister thing. Cool. And, um, you, you like fully divulge everything. Tracker kind of nods. And I'm gonna make a little insight check for Tracker. You see Tracker recognize how like forward you're being and not. She is obviously very off put by the seemingly kind of messed up things that the Church of Galakea did. Obviously she's like a human werewolf that doesn't feel necessarily like responsible for the things the elven church did, but it's the same goddess, even though it's a different denomination. So she's like in a kind of trippy place about it. Um, uh, she's like, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's fucked up when the servants of your god have like misappropriated the teachings of your deity. Yeah, totally. I, uh, this is maybe messed up to say, but I never really got. You've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of horrifying things I needed to co confront about Helioic traditions and uh, yeah, just things my parents said day to day. Uh, yeah, I had to shed a lot of that. Tracker looks over at you and says, thank you for telling me all this and I'm gonna help research as much as I can and I'm really sorry I got you sick. Um, I enjoyed it. She, you see, <laughs> she smiles. Um, she smiles, um, leans over and just sort of lightly like touches her head to your head um, and looks up and says, um, I know, I know we're about to leave. I'm going to go talk to Sandra Lynn. I get mad. And part of that is my lycanthropy and part of it's just my, just who I am. You know, my faith puts me in touch with my emotions. Um, me being upset with you is never, ever, about me not loving you with my whole heart, because I do. I love you too. I'm you? gonna, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, you, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to the same Okay, cool. Okay. Is there any way for you to like, find out if your God has a sister? I'm not super versed in your yeah. religion, but 
I'll, I, I will. Um, do, do you have a sister? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Easy. Come on. We just got back on the I, yeah, I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Kristen, you're the best. God, you're hot. All right. <laughs> All right. We got to, we are still, okay. I'm going to go. Oh, oh, <laughs> um, she she looks cool. and says, uh, "We'll figure it out, um, and we'll figure it out together." Yeah. Um, she walks off. Um, cool. Um, for the rest of you, um, uh, what is the conversation you guys are having about, about potentially getting out of here and going back to the compass points? Um, I I guess I I want to talk about whether or not you guys want us to know everything. I will say, point for us. I'm gonna say, yeah, we want you to know everything. I messaged Fig, we definitely don't okay. want them to know everything. They're gonna know of course we want where you. we're gonna, <laughs> she's gonna know, just tell us to leave, I guess. Because she's she'll gonna know where we're know coming. Where are, she'll, yeah. she'll know where we are. If you wanna kill her and you think that we jeopardize it, then we should leave. Truthfully, and I'm saying this, right to you, because I know she's watching. I don't know enough about you to know if I even want to kill you. I mean, I, but, me? <laughs> I'm talking to her. Okay, but, well that feels that's weird. That's scary. Hey that's man, weird. I'm I sorry. Hate. I was hey. right there with you actually. I, mean, that was, <laughs> I was like, maybe she's gonna kill you. I mean, the Paul and Christian, I mean, we're like, you know, it's not like they've got they've gotten some big up on us, like, bef I don't know, it feels like, what are we gonna do? Just the four of us are gonna yeah. handle it? We're and not then gonna do gonna that. Show We're not gonna, gonna do that. Like, is she looking through your eyes at all times, or can she just like dip in when she feels like? And it? also, like there's a reason she wants to be a secret. Yeah. And by talking about it, and by I kind of want to be able to find out the truth. I know, me in case too. Let's all drink the blood. I want to drink the blood. <laughs> I, I feel like that was a real. That was a real moment where I was just gonna I cut feel reason, deeply like, left out. You <laughs> guys are all special, I, and I'm nothing. I drink oh, blood. I think there's a happy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. There's, a happy middle, there's a happy <laughs> middle. There's a happy middle. Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade and blood. What's the happy middle? That. We all just stick together and try to figure out. Yeah, who I definitely clean it. want to stick together. Yeah. 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 Let's get out of here. I also want to say I think that we need to keep a guard on Elwyn because I think that she's going to try and escape us. And oh shit! Yeah. How do we there. do that? What do we? I don't know. Do we have a whole person. I'm a I'm a German Shepherd. I can just keep watch. I'll be her bouncer, like reverse bouncer. She can't get out. Should I, do you think this hollow spell, casting it on the van will protect us from this god who can see through us? Like, I feel Maybe. like no, all right. I mean, the moon haven seemed to it's do not a, something. It's so. not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll cast <laughs> Sandra Lynn points to Fabian and says, it clearly worked enough mm -hmm. that she had to press Riz for information back at the Gold Gardens. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, then I have, I can cast a hollow with, you know, in a day and I can give us all courage so we can't be frightened while in the van. Great. Cool. Um, cool. If I take a long rest, I can get um, different spells that can like, I mean, I have I have web and I have snare, so I can- Hold I can, Ilwyn. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but it, I, I can't do it yet though, because I don't have them stocked. Why don't we hang on to her spell book? You yeah, have it, right? Great. Uh, whose spellbook? Sorry. Aelwyn. Aelwyn's spellbook. Aelwyn's spellbook. Gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I think In Gorgug... fact, maybe I'll give it to Gorgug because I feel like... Finally. Read up. <laughs> I Ida looks at you and says, I was pretty clear about you not doing that. But also, I'm not the boss of you. Oh, right. Just okay. <laughs> Wait, Ida, why don't, why don't you want him to look at it? His mind is a perfectly clear pool, undisturbed by ripple. I fear that the introduction of information into his mind would corrupt it. You guys remember how I thought of the time that Rog and that other guy fucked? Uh-huh. Pretty smart. <laughs> so oh. Rog yeah. shrugs as yeah, well. I don't think Definitely. I did. I, I don't noticed think that, so. Corrupt it. Mm -hmm. huh? um, so, uh, uh, Sandra Lynn goes, all right, so the plan is to get back to Leviathan? Yeah. If we're gonna do that, let's do that right now so Great. that Kristen can get, I mean, 
Her spell takes 24 hours to do, yeah. so we should get on it. I have another idea, too, that we can start working on. There, uh, I can make a glyph of warding with a spell stocked in it. So okay. if we want to make a decoy spell book of Aelwynn's, put this glyph on the front so that when she runs to grab it, Great. Web can come out and Whoa. read. Just have some um, booby traps. I mean, I don't have, I don't know if I can make a fake, I don't think I have anything that can make a fake looking book. I don't have. I mean, we have 24 hours. Why don't you guys we just, just do one at yeah. and paste? Can I, oh, hey, everyone, I, <laughs> my, like mom design. showed up here today and. Uh, do you like, want a minute? Yeah. Yeah, can I get like, just like a cool 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Or bring her with us to the Compass Points. I mean, I'm, she just got here, got here and I feel like okay, yeah, it's like yeah, doing no, a big dad it, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, fair. Okay. gonna go upstairs and try to start working on the hangman. 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 On oh. the on the hangman? Yeah. Cool. I also have mending. I can come and help you. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, uh, awesome. Um, uh, so, putting all this together, because people are going in a lot of different directions right now, um, you guys go up and start working on the hangman. Mm -hmm. um, what is, uh, Ida says, should we teleport back to Leviathan? No, you need a minute. So you're gonna go do yeah. that. Um, I need a cool 15. Uh, Same thing to go. Cool uh, what is Riz? <laughs> I guess I'd like to try to read up and find out. Awesome. Cool, you you grab some stuff and start to do some investigation. Kristen, you're, you're not gonna be casting it yet because you're gonna go to. We're just collecting all. Oh, you're getting incenses, kind of a lot of stuff, incenses yeah. oil, stuff like that. What is Fig up to? I guess I'm just noodling on my guitar. Uh, cool. Can you guard Aelwyn's guitar? Oh wait, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, uh, nope, I am fully. Uh, I'm making a quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a quesadilla, I'll be like, uh, yeah, I'm guarding <laughs> like, over Aelwyn. It's, it's canon, I'm sorry. Cool. Uh, I'm guarding over Aelwyn, just like ready to <laughs> tackle her, you know, oh, do oh, some man. spells, disguise myself as her, pretend to be a mirror, who knows? Cool. Um, uh, you are there. Um, I'm very awesome. excited for this buddy comedy uh, to come out. Uh, um, Fabian, um, you uh, are walking off with uh, your mom and Cathilda, uh, and Telemine is with you as well. Um, so you see Hilarial says, Darling, word reached me that you were here in your ancestral homeland, and I thought it had been quite some time, and I should come and see my dear father and see you as well. How's the adventure going, Levy? It's, it's good. We're having a good time. Everyone's we're really doing good work. Um, I mean, we as like a collective, me personally, I'm doing rough, really rough. Um, there was a whole thing. We went to Leviathan and I was all excited to be my father's son and do it right. And then I got a bunch of people killed. Um, over 20. <laughs> it, it was wild. <laughs> I mean, I still, there's, there's one of them that's been burned in my brain forever is at the moment at which I turned my back and ran away from him um, as he cried out for help. Um, but it's been good to come here mm -hmm. feel, I don't know, I never really got in touch with this side of uh, me. It, it, uh, I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm as much your son as I was dad, so. Uh. She smiles and kisses you on the cheek and says, Fabian, as much as you are my son and your father's son, you are also, darling, you're becoming your own man. And Your father had many scars from battle. He had lost his eye, he had lost his leg. He told me one time when he was observing ships mm. that he never wanted to buy a ship uh, or steal one that had no mark of repair on it, that had never seen combat, had never experienced a little bit of decay or a little bit of destruction. He said he only wanted a ship that had the soul of a survivor in it. There is so much relief in my heart to know that my son can sail through storms and come out the other side. It's a 
better skill to have than never sailing into a storm at all. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing my own thing now. I dance. And I, I have a sheet. I put, up, I put up my friends' fire. My friends want fire. I use the sheet to put them out. And then I also, I, I uh, wrapped up a fire en elemental in it and inhaled it. It was crazy. It kissed me on the lips and then went inside me. Um, <laughs> what, Mama? Stop. Swiveled details. No, I mean it was. It wasn't like romantic. It was more like I don't know, spiritual. And, uh, I don't know. Telemine uh, goes yes. <laughs> yes. I wasn't there, but I get it, yeah. and I like it oh, for good. you. Oh, uh, thank you, Grandpa. Um, uh, you see that um, Hilarial looks at you and says, Darling, I've also come not only to see you, but um, to bring a little bit of news. Um, Arthur Eggfort um, has deeply endangered all of the school's funding. Oh. Uh, from he apparently turned 300 or 400 feet tall and grabbed <laughs> yes, the sun. Yes, we watched that. Yes. It was crazy. Um, I think he went to war with Um. um so, and also it's coming up on the end of your spring break. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure how you're doing on your timeline for accomplishing this quest. Um, but also, I have, and I'm not proud of this, I've eaten all of Galir's yogurt, and I don't know how to make any more food, and I kind of am coming to see if Cathilda would come back. What? Oh. Uh, she sort of puts her hand out and says, I am having a very hard time in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Um, Cathilda <laughs> looks up, shakes her head ruefully, um, uh, and uh, says, uh, Madam Seacaster, why don't I uh, uh, talk to Fabian uh, for a moment and um, you can say hello to your father and catch up with him. Um, uh, Cathilda takes your hand and walks through the garden with you um, and looks up and says, Master Fabian. I, are you really going to go, Cathilda? I mean, I'm, I do worry about Mama, so... It feels right, but I don't, I don't want you to go. Cathilda looks at you and says, Master Fabian, watching you dance was an honor and a pleasure, and there is something I have been waiting to see who you would become for a long time, and watching you Become the man that you were always meant to be is something that I'm very honored to have seen just the very beginning of. It is true that uh, I will no longer receive my hireling stipend, but I'm a member of your crew. If you wish me to continue on to this last leg of the journey, I will. If you wish me to go back and take care of your mother, I will do that. I'm happy to take my call from you, young Master Fabian. Oh, Cathilda, you've really lifted me up, especially in some pretty rough times, but I feel like I'm back on my feet. So you go home, you take care of Mama. Um, I think, I think I, I will be fine. Uh, big tears stream down her face. Uh, she takes your hand and says, I always knew you would be. <laughs> oh, there's only one sea caster left to take care of. And she's back there in a kimono. She is. But, uh, I'm excited to come home and tell you about all the crazy things I, I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to do some wild stuff. Really wild stuff. Um, she smiles and says, I can't wait to hear it. 
brand new legend, one all of your own writing, you and your friends. Um, she smiles and says, <sighs> takes her little, uh, you know, like dancing blades, uh, walks a little bit away and says, what sword do you think you'll fight with? That fancy elven sword or your father's? The elven one. I don't, dad's sword is just gonna chill for a second. She nods, smiles and says, it's the warrior, not the blade anyway, my boy. You'll do well. Um, she walks off with your mom. Um, uh, so, uh, you guys, you see that she walks over back to Telemine and Hilarial. Um, uh, Kristen, um, uh, you're off, sorry, you again are off. Uh, uh just got a bunch of materials. Yeah, you got a bunch of materials. <laughs> oils. You guys are working on the, on the hangman. Um, I'm trying to read up on, um. Uh, cool. Um, uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check real quick. Sweet. I roll those with advantage now. Ooh. Steady eye. Oh, you love to see it. You simply love to see it. 28. 28! Pretty good. That's <coughs> great. That's good. And I also just realized Rog, right? When mm -hmm. Rog was afraid of the shadow cat, she threatened him because he saw her, right? Or yeah. she asked, did she ask him, did you tell anyone or something like that? I thought she said something like that. That was my mother. That was your it's mother. So Jeez. knowledge, knowledge is power, people. I say um, that's quite so uh, uh, If you want, if you life. actually look for for help with that, Rog is like goes back to explain to you and just like, well, as you're researching, he's yeah. like, what did you want to know? What what exactly happened? What's the timeline did, you're interested in? Um, when you saw the shadow cat, yeah, she threatened you, right? Yeah, she said if I told anyone anything I'd seen, because I had seen, I didn't. See, the first people I saw were were Arianwin talking to Jace at Eggford the night of prom. Okay. Um, and then later on my way home, after the whole fight and everything, that's when I saw, or it all happened after the fight, but um, that's when Kalina came up, you know, and, and hassled me basically. Got it. Um, but um, Rog, is like helping you to the best of his ability with the investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of just, you know, he's not the most uh, investigating person. Tell me what it is you're looking for. Is, is there a, a 28 is an incredible role, but is there a specific thing that you're looking for in particular? I guess I'm trying to find out how to pin down Kalina. I'm trying to find out basically if I, I have a suspicion that she is, the reason she's moving around so much is because she's this god with no name. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's a way to undo it, to make her as she has been unmade. Cool, so you avoid some of the thicker ar arcana stuff because that's not your bag right. really. What you do find in a lot of it in Ariane one's hand is her researching abyssal demonic texts. Um, you are looking for like, and this is this is specifically stuff that Ariane was writing that you begin to piece together. She's careful not to ever write, because this was like research she was doing while she was in Falunel with like elven right. governmental stuff. Um, the earliest thing you find is a parcel of her like notes, right? So rather than the big meaty, you're like religious tomes, Kristen, big meaty arcana tomes, that's Adain. You're like, let me get in that weird bag of old receipts. Let me right, get in that thing right. of like detective work. And um, the first thing you find is a lot of notes that uh, uh, Ariane when requisitioned about, uh, that has to do with uh, a couple like Basically, like two or three hundred years ago, uh, the execution of a wood elf in basically like the elven secret service, this thing called like the, uh, the third court, um, that uh, is a wood elf woman named Landrin Lear, who was a like wood, part of it, like descended from a family of wood elf refugees from Sylvair after the Nightmare King came to power, um, who came on 
and was like one of the first wood elves who was accepted into like the secret service of the elves as a healer because she was a uh, cleric of Galakea, of the moon goddess. She was eventually killed for espionage. And basically what the, the notes are a little bit unclear, but what they end up finding, right, um, is this stuff that has to do with, uh, hold on one second, um, what they end up finding is notes having to do with uh, her trial, notes of heresy, fault, and uh, also notes of her being basically false, like not a true servant of Galakea. There are notes in the, obviously it's a secret trial. She wasn't tried in a public court because she was, it was all like espionage and part of like hidden elements of the elven courts. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like Landrin Lear was secretly a cleric, not of Galakea, but of something else, okay. right? And um, what she is accused of having done is, uh, it's basically that she did some, she used her role as a healer to do something, uh, to put some kind of curse or ill effect or do something uh, when she was healing members of the elven courts that she introduced something into So Valium. she's she created the virus or whatever, as it were, it seems. It's, yeah, putting that together, you're like, okay. she, She's the, the recording of like, something got brought into Falinel by this woman who was found out, to, was basically killed as like a zealot. That she like, met, she was like, I'm part of the Church of Galakea, I will join your secret service. And then later it's like, no, no, you're a zealot for something dark and hidden. Uh -huh. And you've come to try to like sabotage Falinel from within, right? Um, so that's one of the big first things that you find. Um, uh, the 28 as well. You're looking, and you're looking for like Kalina stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, Kalina stuff, and then I guess I'm also, like I said before, we're. I was kind of working under the assumption that the Nightmare King and the Nameless person were the same. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious if they're opposing forces. If if the Nightmare King and this Nameless goddess are the same, yeah. Thing, if right? maybe the the crown of the Nightmare King is not being fetched for the Nightmare King, if it's being well, the taken. crown is a. T I, this is stuff from earlier. Uh -huh. um, the crown is a talisman that anchors an extra planar creature on our plane. So if the goddess was unmade, then perhaps the crown of the Nightmare King could uh, ground her back in this plane. Wow. Oh, so this, so she could, so, so Kalina could, could take, be this zealot who is trying to bring. Yes, or she could be the, the goddess. the goddess Either herself. Way, if she gets the night, if, if this yeah. unmade goddess gets this crown. Then she could be then made. Then perhaps that she could be made. Um, um, okay, um, you see, this is a big element here as well. Um, Ariana's research, there's some stuff about Landrin Lear in mm -hmm. there. There's also stuff about uh, Ariana researching demonic texts. And she finds this thing uh, from more recent history, having to do with the original fall of Calvaxis. Mm -hmm. um, when the Nightmare King was defeated, when like after the fall of Calvaxis and sort of alliance of big baddies in the world, um, you see that uh, a group of infernal warlocks came to help the good guys by creating a boundary around the forest of the Nightmare King. Because it was cursed, this curse was spreading even after the Nightmare King was defeated. So these devils that were basically like, the Nightmare King works with demons, those are our enemies, we're gonna come help out and place this boundary around the uh, forest of, of the Nightmare King that appeared to boats to simultaneously keep things in the forest in and keep things outside the forest out. Um, so it was a weird moment where this, these infernal powers were like, hey, this is enough in our interest that we're gonna come help you guys Got seal it. this place off, right? Um, this is also stuff that you find that ha this uh, thing was requisitioned. You see names on these requ requisition forms that this information was checked out of um, in your father's handwriting. Pak Gukgak checked this out, and also in his handwriting, he checked it out for him and Kalina 
uh, while they were partners together. Huh. Um, uh, this stuff, uh, you see Arianwen's notes on this information that had been partially checked out by uh, Pac and Kalina when Pac was like working in collaboration with the Elven government. Um, you see that in the text, the boundaries placed around the Forest of the Nightmare King to prevent the return of the Nightmare King and to prevent the return of the Nightmare King's crown had to do with um, only a high-ranking devil could allow passage through that boundary into the Forest of Silver. And you see uh, Ariane got her hands on a demonic ritual that involved, uh, and you see that there are notes in the margin that Ariane was like, like, that basically say like logistics, how to get, uh, uh, that basically say, that, so the ritual starts to go, the demons are like, a high ranking devil's never gonna do this willingly. Mm -hmm. If a devil were bound into something, and you see that Rog over your shoulder goes, I know that term, I know that word. That's a medical word. I've seen it in my mom's stuff before. It's about, um, it's about a body fusing with a gem. This is about gem magic. This is about putting a gem inside someone's body. Reading further into it, you see that the ritual requires a specific kind of body to have been dead for 24 hours. Uh, and then a gem containing a high-ranking devil being placed into the body. And you see that next to the thing about the body, there's notes from Ariane basically being like, um, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, uh, logistics, how to get uh, a devil into Kalina's hands, possible question mark. Is Gorthalix a devil or a demon? Devil. Devil. So I was the dead one. They were trying to sacrifice, and Gorthalax is a part of it. But why would the boundary, that's not at the boundary of the Nightmare Forest. Is that boundary still up? I mean, I do think that perhaps well, the, we should leave The ritual Gorthalax didn't happen. Yeah, I, th I think I call, I call Fagin because of the gem stuff, but. Cool. Oh, I can't, I can't, I'm watching it. Okay, got it. You can tell me later, though. Oh, cool. Um, uh, awesome. Uh, uh, you're yes. looking at that, and basically what you see is what it's looking, it's looking at this weird thing where it basically seems like uh, the devil has to be held by uh, the shadow cat, by the servant of the Nightmare King, right? That right. these texts make direct reference to. Mm -hmm. And you see that a lot of it is that Ariana's notes are like, how do I get something into the possession of the shadow cat? And the answer appears to be this thing where it's like a certain type of dead body can put this gem into the hands of the shadow cat. Um, now, uh, back in Does that the... mean that she's not co not in contact with the Shadow Cat? Because that's what sh the Shadow Cat implied to Aelwyn, is that they're working together. Mm. Um, um, so I just, I just want to, I basically want to, uh, pull up a stool by the door. <laughs> I want to light a clove cigarette. I want to disguise myself as Aelwyn and Adine's mom. Cool. Um, and then I'm Sick. also gonna hex her, which lasts for an hour. And, uh, <laughs> and the ability that she's gonna have disadvantage uh, checked on is strength, in case I need to grapple her. Cool. <laughs> um, awesome. Um, so you are. You want a uh, cortado? I can make one really quick. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, I love that you only know how to make cortados. So you're sitting there also, smoking. You it. Um, uh, very cool. Um, as you're doing that. Uh, you are, uh, you've texted her, she's lying there, you're smoking, you look like her mom. Um, you're an actual nightmare. <laughs> Sadistic. <laughs> if she wakes up, I'll put out the cigarette, pretend to be your mom. Um, uh, as you're sitting there. Although, um, does your mom smoke cloves? <laughs> I'm gonna let you answer that question. I message you? No? I hear, I hear nothing back, huh? My See, message just, must be off. I don't even begin to, I think I my message isn't working. To, to think to answer that question. <laughs> it's just so baffling to me that you would All even. Right. <laughs> um, uh, you hear a knock on the outside of the van door. I kick it open. Um, you see, 
<laughs> Blam! The van door kicks open. Um, you see, uh, you see Fethrethriel out there. Um, you see Fethrethriel looks at you and says, "Hello, have you seen Rog?" Oh, this man. is really sad. I think it's not gonna happen. It already has a couple times. Yeah, but the continuation. I don't know if he's feeling you that okay. way. Okay. Yeah, but I haven't seen him. No, maybe he went for a swim. Okay. Yeah. A little swim or something? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I want a shield so he can't really see in the room. Cool. Um, you see, he looks over at you and says, um, by the way, just because there's sort of a rumor going around, what's going on with you and Ida? What sort of... What sort of saucy little elf are you? You think I come into your town so that you can whisper you words about like, me? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. don't you look like a I random know. woman? Uh, I think you've got a bass guitar on your back <laughs> and are smoking a clove cigarette and he's put it together. Um, <laughs> then he looks and just goes like, goes like, I'm sorry, but you know, me and some of my friends talked to her about it and it just seemed like something was going on. What did she say? She, uh, well, you know, we just talked about how you're, a, you know, rock star and you probably, you know, get around. And she got really upset and teleported away. She said I'm a rock star? No, we said that. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess that's the end of our conversation. Do you want to know anything else? Do you want to know if I'm a rock star and I get around? You see that, uh, he says, Here, here's a little fucking gossip for you. I'm a fucking virgin who's never had a healthy relationship. Wow. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Spread that around, because guess what? I don't care what you say here, because I'm never coming back. Choke on grapes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh my God. Wait, did Ida teleport I'm away? I'm this in my mother's voice. Yeah. Ida teleported We're away? Yeah, that's, that's line, honestly. That's but I'm oh, yeah, I guess it, it occurs to Fig that Ida teleported away. Wait, oh, she teleported away? Wait, come back! <laughs> See, but Raphael turns around and says, I don't know, you kind of had a big moment there. Do you want to, like, restart this up or let that Where sit? did she teleport to? Are you talking about she teleported, like, all the way back? Or did she, like, teleport behind a tree? You see, he said, she opened a door to some kind of fiery place and there's like a big fire door and you see he was like it's by the grotto literally just whatever it's still there i think some of my friends are going to go through it later but we're going to you know okay gorgug gorgug this part's broken gorgug uh, yeah can you take over for a minute it's still broken <laughs> can you take over Mending for takes a minute? one minute just hold still for Take over watching her? Yes. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, All right, we can well, just do this. Also, Adine, I'm gonna come out of the van, but don't get too freaked out. Why would you why are you this <laughs> it's very triggering for me. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want again, I'm always offering this. If you want to do some sort of therapy back to back, oh I can be like, God. I love you. Are you a trained therapist? <laughs> <laughs> I walk <Did> away. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess I gotta go to this fiery portal. You go to this fiery portal. Uh, Gorga, you hop down into the van. Um, <laughs> here. Cool. Um, uh, awesome. Um, uh, as you, so, as you go into the van, close the door. Um, uh, oh, you no. see that Aelwyn kind of like wakes up uh, a little bit. It was. She uh, is still hexed. I think that it will course. still she'll still have disadvantage Absolutely. on strength checks. Um, goes like, Ugh, I don't feel good at all. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man, you can do it. You see, What's, um, maybe you should go back to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. This got sprung on me. I didn't really. <laughs> This is not the zone for me. Ugh. I don't feel good at all. I could... <sighs> Maybe there's some water or something. What? 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 I was asking if you want some water. I don't feel good at all. 
Do you just... Gorgug puts his hand through no. to see if he can touch her. Oh, no. <laughs> um, you touch her head, uh, and your hand comes back wet like she's made of water, and she goes, you're cute. God. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I open the door. Anybody? Hello? I maybe yeah, we're I'm just up getting here. back yeah, from my, our my stuff. Way your back. sister's made of water, God. and I didn't. Damn it. You're... I'm not sure me. when it happened, but Fig. she is made of water. Um, uh, Fig, <laughs> you walk down towards the grotto where you see the grotto is supposed to be. You don't see any fucking fiery portal at oh. all down here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Oh my god, I was completely fucking used. Oh, you don't need to choke on grapes. Oh, yeah. What? What is happening? Why are we what? choking on grapes? Uh, <laughs> we said don't yeah. eat the grapes. You guys are excluded from the choking uh, so on So you're grapes. down, you're down in a different part. You're near, you're near the grotto right now. Oh. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom saving throw if you'd be so kind. Okay. Come on, Nat 20, this is it. Nat 20, baby, Nat 20, Nat 20. Oh, all right, okay. Um, that is going to be a dirty 20. A hey. dirty 20, cool. Um, Hell yes. Uh, you feel a spell try to happen on you. Uh, now I'm gonna need you to roll initiative. What? Oh, Come on. God. You still look like uh, okay. uh, Aryan, right? Yeah, I do still look like oh, Adam. I don't know how to help. Um, I got a five, but okay. I'm gonna use a luck point to try to use to try to get yeah, a better well, initiative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's gonna be a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, uh, it does not beat a nineteen. So, um, I'm gonna need another wisdom saving throw if you would be so kind. Uh, 15. <sighs> luck point? If you, you can use another luck point here if you want to. I will. Okay. 10. Okay. Fig, your body <clears throat> freezes. Um, we're going to, uh, it freezes for a moment. You know it's whole person. It's not anything that's gonna kill you and it's something you can keep making saves against. Um, uh, go ahead at the, so we're in initiative order, at the end of your next turn, at the end of your turn now, go ahead and make another saving throw. Okay. 12 isn't gonna do it. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta try, I don't wanna freaking use my third luck point. What a waste of these new luck points. 18? 18 does it. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of your turn, you come out just in time on a natural 19, uh, you watch Gorthalax's gem come out of your coat. Um, by what? By an in, by Invis invisible? Literally an invisible something. Okay, bestow curse. I want to make that person have terrible gas so I can follow them. <laughs> um, you cast bestow curse. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll a saving throw. That is a, uh, what's your DC? 17. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna narrate what happens now. You watch the invisibility fade as a shivering, shaking Aelwyn Abernant holding Gorthalax's gem and holding her spell book appear, appear what? before you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> uh, uh, appear before you. Um, she was she was invisible in the van with you. Um, appear before you, and go. I'm so sorry, but goodbye for now. <laughs> what? And teleports. Very confused <laughs> by. Just blasting ass against her will. I have a question. As she teleports out of here. You motherfucker! When I have a question though. Yes. Wait, how did she know it was me though? I look like her mom. She uh, uh, was she was casting detect things. I made a fake thing that was like loaded with glyph of warding with an explosion that looked like that crystal. I don't remember when you took your specific dad one out of the bag, 
but we had oh, like a decoy one. I think it was the bag one. that was like that. I yeah. Oh, just I the had bag. It in my right. You just had the loose. I had tried to give yeah, it to him. I got you. No worries. <coughs> um, uh, so, Aylwin vanishes. Uh, the concentration. Uh, uh, you, you see that um, the spell fades on you, um, and you are no longer paralyzed. I run back up. Uh, hey, guys, Aylwin just fucking got away. Yeah. She was I don't all know water. Noticed. Yeah, well, I should have been watching her myself. This is my fault. We I held her captive for like nine minutes. Yes, I don't even know Honestly, when Honestly, that's happened. longer than anybody has ever been able to hold her captive before, so... She I has don't... Gorthalax in the fucking gem, and I don't know where she teleported. Well, I tried she... to give her gas so that I could follow her when she was invisible, so but I was I just, can't... So I was just reading, and they need a devil to get into the Forest of the Nightmare King. So they're definitely taking Gorthalax there at some point. We need to get I, there. They have to kill someone, and within 24 where hours... Where is Ida? Um... Ida comes in, she's got a little bowl of grapes. Hey, baby. Um, so, well, I have a question. I'm not a baby. I know, I have a question. I'm so not a baby, I'm we, an adult. No one yeah, thinks you're a baby. Totally it's baby. A, it's a total uh, frame. We, okay, so there was like this weird oozing pus man, right, in what you saw? Is that the person that they need to cram this the devil into? Devil into? That sounds like a dead but wood elf. The wood he's elf? in the forest. He's in the forest. Okay, yeah, I guess. But it sounds like they were trying to keep someone like freshly dead, and that kind of sounds like what they need. I think 24 hours just means that, they, yeah, they need some, although they could catch gentle repose on them. Yeah. Hey, do you think that your mom- Where is Fithrethreal? Do you think your mom fell in love with the Fithrethreal? idea yeah. of this name? You wanna go find Fithrethreal? Yeah, Fithrethreal. Like, I wanna go find fucking Fithrethreal. Cool. Fithrethreal's hanging out, sort of dipping his water, his feet into like a little pool. Hey, Fith. <laughs> What's up? Hey. So. I need you to tell me that what you just did, someone cast a spell on you and you did against your own will. No, um, a tabaxi woman showed up and told me she'd give me 10 gold pieces if I went and messed with you. That's so little money. For 10 gold pieces, for 10 gold pieces, you literally just Gave away my fucking father, who I don't even Whoa, fucking know. What? I don't know anything about Give us this. your lunch money. I, uh, I, I try to take the gold He back. says, yes, <laughs> back in. Yes. Bye. He goes, everyone's being weird. What's going on? I don't get it. I'm the, a lady said to go mess with you and say some stuff about Ida or whatever. Did... I want to steal. That's, that's figs 10 gold. She, no one's, she's, I'm waiting. She didn't give me the gold she yet. She didn't even get it up front. Okay, she didn't give you the gold yet? Cool, no. we'll wait until she gives you. You didn't even get anything up front. You just did this on a fucking lark. No, I, but I didn't, I don't know. I, ha, I didn't do it for, I. You're mean. What? You're very, very mean. Rog, I think this guy is bad for you, and I think we should leave. Rog, I think you should beat the shit out of this oh. guy. Oh. He says, I'm not comfortable. Oh. I'm not comfortable. Oh. 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 Rog should. Dude. Everyone but Rog should. <laughs> the threat's real is really mean. The threat's real. You should go around and tell everyone about this cat that um, just told you about this thing. And if you do that, I'll give you 100 gold. I give him 100 gold. Don't give my fucking greatest enemy in my life 100 gold. How, wait, I just, I'm confused. How am I now the greatest enemy of your life? You know why. I super does don't. A, hey, does a 23 hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hold big bags. Yeah, you think you suck uh, I'm going to do booming blade. <laughs> oh, oh, don't kill him. Do not kill him. Don't kill him. 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 Me in every yeah. fucking way possible. Hold your back, hold your back. Yes, can I grab <laughs> the fig with, with my sheet? Back. You can, you I, if you guys want to, to like hold, leap on I would like fig. to try to hold fig back. Okay. I hit let him, him for spread 19. The, let him okay. spread I hit him for 19 and if he walks, then he takes another 2d8 damage. If you hit this kid for 19 damage, he's, dead. F he's, be fully, dead. he's fully dead. I just knock him unconscious. You're not a bullet, <laughs> not, you do non-lethal. <laughs> Boom, hit him, whap, on the ground. That was really big of you, Faye. Yeah, you see, Rog goes, holy <laughs> shit. What did he do? What did he do? He helped Aylwin escape. Yeah, that. Oh, 
Well, that sucks. And, and Ellen he, got her spell book and Fig's yeah. dad. Also, he tricked Fig, which I feel like is Fig's whole thing. And so maybe it's more painful because of that. Oh, you're kind of like seeing your vices and someone else right. is engaging yeah. with them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't feel bad about my vices. I have a question. My vices <laughs> rule. I have a question about Arion's like motive here. Arion's or Aelwyn's? Arion. My mom. Yes, yes your mom. Because it sounds like the high elves did this whole misinformation campaign in bad yeah. faith. Does it sound like your mom is trying to bring it back and make right I mean, and be maybe, against but the high elves? It seems like the high elves are for the moon. My mom is the highest of the high But elves. it sounds like she broke bad because her and your dad aren't working together. I think they're both just bad. They're both just different. But they're, they're on different, different sides is what it, it sounds, sounds like. It sounds like yeah. she's on this like mystery side because she she did so much research. This is like the Look, research of someone who's fallen in love with like, a new I do not know religion. my mother at all. Can you talk to her in any way? I can, if I take a long rest, I guess I could sending her yeah I, I could send her a message using sending um you see that uh uh saint Jolene says okay we've knocked one of the youths here unconscious i think it's time for us to go yes we're gonna head back to leviathan right now um uh you see saint Jolene says also we need to have a discussion because cathilda is going to be departing currently uh rog is still on the adventure with you as a full party member Myself and um, myself, Tracker, uh, are no longer officially receiving a stipend <coughs> from the school. I can't, I can't speak on Tracker's behalf. Why is that? Or just because of funding? Eggfort's out of money. Yes. He's in trouble. So, um, you guys are heading into what looks like the last leg of your journey. You have a lot of information from Calathria, all the information you need about what. Ariana was up to. She looks around and you see that she and Tracker are standing together like they just had a conversation. She says, um, I feel obligated to continue um, if you guys want me. You're headed towards the forest of Silver. That's kind of why you guys brought me anyway. So I will continue on with you. Tracker looks at you guys and says, I will as well. You guys don't have to pay me. I, I'll, I'll keep going we'll too. We'll pay it. both of you. We have money. Yeah, we, we have, have money. money. I do really have that. a question, though, because there is kind of part of me that wonders if there's something those of us who are infected can do separate to help. I don't want to separate. I don't want to either, no. but I am thinking if she's hearing every plan, if she knows exactly where we are, all of our research, she knows what we know, <clears throat> is that bad? Well, we know what, what she needs to exactly. do too. We know where they're going. Yeah, and true. I, I Let's get wanna... out of here and yeah. have this conversation uh, in Leviathan. Yeah, because we know cool. where the temple is. You and me found that stuff at Compass Points. We know exactly where the temple that she's heading towards is. And considering how your father used you guys, it's possible your sister is being set up as the person being sacrificed now. <laughs> Even cool. like, I think your both of your parents are bad in different Great. ways, but they might be doing the same thing. Wonderful. Cool. You guys uh, prepare. Oh. Ida prepares to teleport. Um, uh, Telemine comes up and says, it has been an honor. Get out of, oh, sorry, I thought you were, sorry, I thought you were the guy. Right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, still I'm so sorry, I yelled at your dad. Your it's my example. granddad. Oh, okay. That guy doesn't get to come to until yeah. I'm gone. You see that uh, Telemine comes up and says, <laughs> to all of you, take as many grapes as you like. Nobody's going to take Thank you, Telemine. Thank you, sir. I'll take like a great um, uh, I, I give a formal high elvish uh, departation uh, ritual saying of like, uh, may your grapes be juicy and bright. Um, you see that he returns the formal response. He says, in your time here, you have rescued your friend. You have found what you needed on your great quest. Though it pains me to see you go, my sweet grandson. You have also knocked one of our youths unconscious. <laughs> I needed you to trust me on this one. He deserved it. Oh, it was he's a shit starter. It was completely manipulative what he did. He's a shit starter for sure. Yeah, I would throw no, him no, in the no, river. No, no, it's okay. And he's weird. <laughs> he, the way he talks about half orcs is weird. We all think 
This is messed oh, up for me to say about a kid, but I don't like him. I think yeah. he's, okay. um, he's just a rotten kid. Uh, I, I kick him once. <laughs> you see, he goes. Um, I he kick said, him. I hurt my foot. Uh, I'm so weak. He uh, looks hilarious. Says, well, "I shall see you when you're all back in Elmville again. Best of luck saving the world, darling. I love you so much. I love you, sweetheart. I love you, Mama." Um, Cathilda comes up with her little bag packed. Um, she gives you a kiss and says. You're your own hero, Master Fabian. Um, she goes around, she gives you a little kiss, Riz, and goes over to Kristen. Um, uh, she goes over to you, Adine, and as she gives you a little kiss, she puts a little thing of cookies in your hand. I give her a big hug. Gives you a big hug in return. Um, she smiles at you, Gorga, gives you a kiss on the cheek, and she comes over to you, <laughs> and she um, uh, looks and says, I believe you. You're on our side. She smiles, nods, and says, You're a good egg. This guy, though, probably the Nightmare King. <laughs> Who are you pointing to? The, the small elf underneath my boot. <laughs> no, he's a, a asshole. He's yeah, right now I just need to believe he's the Nightmare King. <laughs> um, As Kavilda walks away, uh, can I take out my father's eye patch? Uh, put it back on, uh, and then say, you're the best mate, no, the best surrogate mother a boy could ask for. Um, she <laughs> bursts into tears. Um, you see, your mom looks, here's- You know, you know she it's looks, true. She looks and says, It hurts because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she says, the hope is that I start doing better, darling. And she looks at Cathilda and says, maybe, Cathilda, we should have a talk about what it means to do right by people. Cathilda says, oh. She says, <sighs> looks over at you and says, two down, one more to go. Um, and she takes Hilarial's <laughs> hand um, and, and says, uh, <laughs> Bill, Fabian, and now Hilarial. Um, you see, uh, she, uh, uh, she looks at you and says, my heart beams with light for you, Fabian. And she says, your eye patch looks good on you. Stop it. Um, and uh, they walk away. Ida, the runes of fire spread. <laughs> and you all reappear boom, and can smell the salt sea air and can once again feel the ebbing, the call of gulls. You are back uh, at midday under a, a deep fog at the Compass Points Library. Um, uh, uh, Leviathan spreads around you, no longer under the threat of Captain James. Um, uh, <coughs> for those of you who are here, uh, Ida looks and says, very well. We have some research yet left to do. Uh, let us dive into it and see what we can glean. I start casting Hollow on the van. Um, you see that Tracker and Sandra Lynn uh, look at you both. Um, uh, Sandra Lynn sort of coughs and says, so you would prefer for Tracker and I to continue the last leg of the journey with you? Yes. Sandra Lynn uh, looks at you looks out at Leviathan, looks at Tracker, puts a hand on Tracker's back and says, um, and it sort of squeezes her shoulder and looks out and says, we're headed into the shit. Your sister's taken back her book. She's captured your father and my, one of my partners. And I wanna say that I haven't been good and I'm sorry. I haven't been a good role model, I'm an adult. You're all learning how to be heroes. Um, I've given you reason to doubt me. I've given, I've introduced uh, strife into- This is about to get inspiring. Tracker, <laughs> you see, she bursts into laughter at you saying that and just goes, look, we're going into the shit. We all have stuff to work out. I'm not perfect and you guys are teenagers and you've known that for a minute. 
If I gave you reason to doubt in the middle of something this dangerous, then that's on me and I'm sorry. If, if anything ever happened and I made things hard, Mordred Manor is a home waiting for all of you. And if anything ever happened and I ever made a mistake that put anything in jeopardy, I would get on Baxter and go before I put your home and your family in jeopardy. And I want you to know that. We fuck up and we try to make the decisions to be better where and when we can. And we're going presumably to Silver to stop what's going on. Here's to getting it right on the next try. Um, you see that uh, uh, tracker nods. And uh, you see that Sandra Lynn looks over at uh, Ida, hangs her head and says, Ida, can I get a use of that sending spell from you? I need to talk to somebody. Um, and you see that uh, Ida says, sure, someone specific or just any person in the world. And Sandra Lynn goes, a specific, a specific person. <laughs> and, <laughs> and walks off with Ida. Um, uh, can uh, I do an insight to see if that was maybe to Jawbone? Uh, no insight needed. You said the name. Okay, it's yeah, to Jawbone. Yeah. Tracker comes over, smiles at you, and uh, goes, all right, let's get to work. All right, I'm going to okay. do this. Can you go find Chungle Down Bin? What? Do not. No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> I want to know. I we wanna, don't need him back. We need to make contact with He's going to shit here. in my mouth. Right? Go find so him. Don't him. Need can I, I have come a long way. way. I've come what a long way. Saw, hey. What if he saw Ariane, Kristen, Fabian, really I just got right back. Now. I just got back. We don't back. have to bring him here. <laughs> really I'll go to him um, once I finish uh, this. Uh, uh, Tracker looks at you and says, Kristen, if what we need is information about Ariane we could go hit up Guardi again if you want to go back oh, to the Gold Gardens. Oh, that's a way better idea. Have you idea. met Chungle Down Bear? <laughs> I'm just looking. Like, Chungle Down Bear? I've heard this name Vivian and it's, I have about dreams Down about it. Literally, um, I'm just in the corner going, I believe in you, spring break. I believe in you, spring break. All right, spring break. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. I believe in you, cool. spring break. Let's talk to them. You. If it doesn't work out with Guardi, then we'll chungle we'll that bit as a close second. We'll talk to them and we'll figure out something. Um, cool. For those of you who are in, um, uh, for those of you who are doing research at the Compass Points, mm -hmm. Um, go ahead and give me whatever roles you're doing. Yeah. For anyone that's going to go talk to Gardy, let me know who's going to do that. Uh, I want to do um, two things at the library. I want to uh, look at this research, but I also want to see if there's uh, records of any books that my mother took out of the library. Ooh. If she went to the library and, and I don't know if she did. Cool. Give me an, an arcana check for the first and an investigation for the second. Great. Uh, so I'm going to use. Boggy uh, with the help action for both of them? Yep. Great. We, um, that's a 15 on the first one. We'll call that the investigation. The oh, okay. Oh, and a nat 20, and the other one was a one, so. Whoa! Woo Thank you. The nat, tw so Boggy. a nat 20? And then a nat 20 on the other. Okay. Investigation 15, you don't find any books that Ariaman took out of here. Okay. Um, uh, uh, cool. Um, uh, ba -ba -bum. Um, so what you find is this. Uh, with a nat 20 arcana, you dive into the sort of hefty tomes taken from your mother's research. Mm -hmm. These are written by uh, mystics, shamans, uh, of the wood elves, centaurs, treants, and sprites. Um, immediately during the run up, to this council where the worshipers and clerics of the goddess of mystery, the unnamed goddess of mystery, were building up to destroy her name. There were certain <clears throat> heretics that were driven out that were having prophetic dreams. And your like oracle shit is extremely relevant here because the dreams that these shamans started having were basically ignored by the power structures of these influential high elven clerics working in Silver. The goddess of mystery sent visions and from the four different tribes they saw what are called the four transubstantiations and you see four powerful effects. This goddess of mystery, magic, and night, mm -hmm. uh, the word that they use sometimes is they call her a witch goddess right? 
And she apparently was not just like a goddess of magic, but was almost a goddess of spell casters and a spell caster herself. Because basically the warning she gave is, what you are doing is going to destroy me. Unmaking my name is going to like hurt me or destroy me. Um, she performed four transubstantiations and a great transubstantiation in anticipation, like before this ritual happens uh -huh. to try to protect herself. So four full, full regular transubstantiations and one great And one great one, right? Great. She turned her spell book into a coin. She turned her familiar into a plague. She turned her sanctum into a curse and she turned her arcane focus into a tree. Um, on a nat 20, um, you can find something about what her arcane focus was. Her arcane focus was a broomstick. Um, uh, and the final transubstantiation was she turned her name into something, but you don't know what she turned her name into. Um, right. Uh, now, uh, with this other investigation, um, so she actually wasn't unnamed because her name was changed her name before still the exists. unnaming. Her it, name it, the it exists as something. Um, it looks like it looks like she like before the the mortals could do the ritual, she transubstantiated her own name to s survive, preempt whatever, right? Um, what if we're looking for a nightmare queen? Yeah. Well, I do have a m memory of, I didn't write it down, so maybe I'm um, misremembering this, but didn't you say that the Silveran language doesn't have gender? Is that something that you said, or is that something that I'm fully making up in my brain? You might be fully making it up in your brain. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. <laughs> um, um, cool, but uh, uh, you might be making that up in your brain. Great, um, sick. <laughs> Um, so, um, so just to reiterate, the spell book became a coin, the familiar became a plague, the sanctum became a curse, and the arcane focus, which was a broomstick, became a tree. Correct. Great. Um, uh, Riz, what did you get on your investigation? 23. 23. Um, uh, you find, um, uh, One of the, uh, 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 within this stuff that you're looking at as you're going through it, one of the pieces of R. Allen's writing also mentions something that in the original alliance between Calvaxis and the Nightmare King, one of the gifts that the Nightmare King gave mm -hmm. to Calvaxis uh, as a vassal, being like, I bow to you, I'm one of your like, like you know, vassal servants, uh, gave the gift of a single coin to add to Calvaxis's hoard. Ah, that's gonna be the spell book. So we, Wait, we have his we horde. have his horde. Unless we gave away that particular. But when horde. that horde his specific horde that that bank got blown open, maybe that was to get the coin? Do we know that we directly received his coins or were they yeah, laundered in some be, way? Yeah. Is that a question for someone in particular? I mean I feel like Arthur Akeford is the one that gave us the money. Yeah, we can answer anything. Uh, do we find anything else? Um, I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. Did anyone else make any other roles? Before? No, I'm going to go to Guardy. You're going to go to Guardy? Cool. I'm just working on the hangman. I'll roll to. I guess. I, do I know that Gorka is working on the hangman? I'm trying to hide it. Uh, uh, I, well, then I don't go looking for it. I'll roll with them to Guardy's. Um, cool. You roll with them to Guardies. You're doing Hallow, and Tracker's actually going to help you with Hallow. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. We can go. Um, I'm just. Sure I gotta so, get away from So, so Fabian, Fabian, and Fig, you yeah. go to talk to Guardy. Cool. Yeah. We don't hang. We haven't hung out, you know, like a minute. I know. You look great. Dance looks great on you. Hey. Um. You. I honestly, that was really cool to watch you kick the shit out of Fethfield. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, he was fucked up. Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> Solid. I'm about it. <laughs> um. <sighs> Yeah, let's go. Wait, what are we talking to Guardy about? Not sure. Let's. Sorry, have I've been in kind of um, in my own head. Rod, I got kind of fucked up Rod's there. Rod's gonna go to. Um, uh, is gonna go with you guys cool. to uh, to Guardy's. Guardy, uh, you see that uh, Rod looks over and is like, "Hey, um, I know it was about your own kind of 
some shit going on, but um, uh, when we got back after uh, uh, the tower, you know, um, Threat Real said some like truly messed up stuff. So like, good looking out. <laughs> he was. Oh. He was a weird. He was mean. He good. Was mean to me. Yeah. I wish I could say I was doing it as like an act of uh, justice, but it was a personal vendetta. It yeah. just really embarrassed me. Yeah. So I hear that. You know. Um, I hope he has a really painful grip shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you did a curse to make Aylwin fart? <laughs> okay, follow me. This was my game plan. Okay. If she's invisible, I didn't know it was Aylwin at the time. Uh -huh. If she's invisible, yeah. then I could track her via scent. Yo. Oh, but then she teleported and I. <laughs> That's an amazing plan. And if it had worked out, I think we'd be all, you'd be on my shoulders for sure. Thank you so much. If that had Thank worked out, so that would have been. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, awesome. All the support. Thank you. Damn, I need dude. this right now. Oh, oh, spring break. Spring break. I believe in you. Thank you. Oh. Um, also, whatever Fithrethriel said that I said to him is a total lie. <laughs> what? What did you say to him? <laughs> Nothing. I just. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying, I think this guy spreads lies, and I bet I will be the subject of one. Um. The last stuff that Riz finds with a 23 on that investigation has to do with um, uh, notes left on Ariaman's research by the elven government that have to do with them finding out that Ariaman was planning on betraying them. Um, basically, what you're able to piece together is that Ariaman had worked out a deal that if she could bring the crown of the Nightmare King back to Falinel, the government would uh, like release Aelwyn and kind of like return the, the Abernet family to some position of whatever. Uh, and the government just didn't honor that. And uh, there was, they found research Ariane was doing on people outside of Falinel that understood curse breaking. Mm -hmm. And you see information about Guardian O'Brien and finding them as an external <coughs> curse breaker, right? Um, people that go to Guardi. You arrive back at the Gold Gardens. Um, as you arrive back at the Gold Gardens, uh, you see life and music and fun and people are having a great time. Uh, uh, people are drinking and dancing. Um, you see Guardi uh, over in their, you know, normal spot. They look up and go, oh my goodness gracious, look, it's a couple of, my goodness, lovey, you're standing so tall and straight. I love it. I mean, uh, what can I say? I'm, I'm back. We're back, and we need you. Uh, yeah. Very well. Uh, uh, what, what can I do you for? Well, fig. <laughs> what? I think. Am I close enough to message Adai? Adai, we're talking to Guardian. We can't remember what we're supposed to ask them. Anyway. Shit, my message is broken, in I swear. This awesome thing. So far away. Um, both of you guys just give me a straight up persuasion check. Okay. Uh, I got a. <laughs> oh! Okay, I got a 15. 18. 15, 18. Cool. Um, uh, you guys uh, uh, sit down with Guardy. Guardy goes, uh, so you, you're on a mission here, and we're not exactly specific on what. Um, uh, yeah, I was sort of in a situation that I needed to get out of somewhere, so, and yeah. this was the other option, so then I tagged along. Understandable, all right. Um, well, I wanted to actually apologize, if I could, because I might have given you some bad information earlier. Oh, oh really? Um, you see, it says, um, the, uh, I told you that um, Adine's mother, you know, she'd come in and with the crown and all that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she went to an elven ship that was bound for Falamel. You had yeah. mentioned that, yeah. right? Darlings, ship was not bound for Falamel. Yeah. That was that was put on the logbooks. The ship rerouted. Somebody sought to take harbour um, off the coast of the Forest of the Nightmare King. I you were going to say that. Um, it tracks. Uh, it tracks. There's a little village up the cliffside from the coast. Um, it's called, uh, oh, what is it? 
Uh, it's called Arbally. 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 That sounds like somewhere that would have a lot of trees. Um, you see that uh, uh, you actually already rolled for this fig. You rolled for this months ago when you did your roll in the very first session of sophomore year. Um, there is a uh, venue manager in oh. Solace who was at that party where you heard people talking about the Nightmare King, uh, who uh, you've played at a lot of this person's venues. They have a family home called Holly Hill in Arborley. And in like a drunken night of like rock star partying, we're basically like, anytime you want to stay at Holly Hill, you want to come through and do a show, you go, you go. That's you, you're mi casa es su casa, okay? Great, great. I'll just tell them I'm working on a new album and I want to do a, a little party. Um, uh, so uh, you know about, what you would know about Arbally, that basically the person told you is, it's a uh, wood elf forest gnome sanctuary that has a lot of wood elves that are part of this process to like slowly start to reclaim Silver as much as they can. Um, uh, but you also know that um, they are like being present by, some, there's some like magical border that's stopping them. That you immediately recognize from what Riz found out is this like infernal warlock thing that like only like devils or like the infernal can allow people passage through this boundary. Uh, uh, so Gardy says, so apologies for the misinformation, but it was all done very hush hush. But it was some, some sort of secret where the, the ship put a different thing in the log books than it did on what they actually ended up doing. And how long ago was that? That would have been, I think, probably a month or two ago at this point. Okay, how long does it take to travel by ship there? By ship? Uh, I'd say, you know, about you know, five or six days. Okay. What if we could teleport? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll probably teleport. I'm yeah, trying we'll to figure teleport. out the timeline yeah. of when she got there. <laughs> well, we'll te we're pretty used 20. to teleporting now. <laughs> yeah, we do it all the time. We're we big do. time teleporters. Big time. <laughs> If they have frequent teleport miles. <laughs> we, we would got be, them. we would we would always be in the lounge. <laughs> um, uh, Gardy, uh, uh, you see that Gardy sort of like wishes um, uh, you guys farewell. Oh, they don't they don't want to come. You see, Gardy says, "No, I think that I'll be remaining oh, here come in my on, place of business." Oh, are you trying to get me to well, I mean, toddle off on an adventure? I'm going through a whole kind of rebirth thing where I'm kind of doing me and it's like, I don't know, you've been doing this for a long time. Ooh. What if, what if you got out there? Ooh, I'm gonna bardic inspiration him just in case he needs a roll. <laughs> Uh, you see that Gardy looks, well you guys have your, your 15 and your 18 persuasion. Oh, right, right. Uh, so you see that Gardy says, Darling. Gardy. Here is the honest to goodness truth. And I say this knowing that you're walking around with a dragon's hood, yeah? You simply can't afford me, and I'm so sorry. But I will be delighted to hold a revelry in your honor upon your return to the Gold Gardens, okay. and we'll hear all about your fabulous experience. One last quick question. You, do you have any experience with identifying rare coins? Identifying rare coins. I can identify here and there, lovely. I'm happy to appraise where and when I can. I show him all my money. Anything look off? <laughs> Just get in there. Go ahead. Just get in there, sniff it. it looks this like, one's chocolate, it looks ignore like that gold one. Coins okay, what about this one? I pull out my bag. <laughs> he goes, Oh my goodness. Yo. That's all deeply cursed. I'm going to take that off your hands. <laughs> I'm gonna take that off your hand. Yeah. This, no, is feel, this is for your leg. Listen, it's all right because uh -huh. what, it's actually, and you know what, I am a touch with curse breaking. Oh, yes, you darling. are. But it, the issue is I have to break idiot on each one. So why don't I hold on to all right. it? And then over the course of weeks, we, I will, Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna take weeks? weeks. It's gonna take some time. Weeks. It's gonna take some time. Gardy, so, Gardy. What? My father was a pirate. I know a ruse when I see one. A ruse I've been accused of lying in my place of business. You know what, I'm glad you're not coming, because if this is what... Uh, 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 okay, well, have it your way. Can't right. wait for the party. Yeah, start, start working on that party. 
Um, uh, um, you see... Uh, I am straight edge except for drugs, so <laughs> plan accordingly. At least straight edge except for drugs. It means I don't train. Yeah. And I'm sober now. <laughs> Uh, Full ooh. sober. Congratulations. I might do that. Actually, actually I don't I think I ever go. really started drinking. Oh, I was doing snuff. <laughs> was, I had a big snuff night. But apart from that, you know what? I think I could go straight edge except for hallucinogens. Oh, that's it. I, that counts. Yeah. Um, uh, you see, uh, uh, you guys arrive back at uh, Compass Points. You guys have new research. Yeah. Uh, you guys are still casting Hallow. Uh, uh, Gorgug, go ahead and give me a, um, uh, you're doing mending. Give me a tinker's tool check. Okay, so, kind of so that's plus five? Plus five. Can I give him the help action since I was helping with yes. the mend spell earlier? Yes, you can. 22. 22. Um, you are there working on um, the hangman. Um, as you as Adam has to leave partway through mending, um, you see uh, Fabian's old discarded owl bear's um, uh, uh, owl bear's jacket, mm -hmm. and there's a couple. There's like some things that you're trying to buff out that aren't quite coming out. You see a little tin of wax uh, in Fabian's uh, letter jacket pocket, um, and it's just a little thing of motorcycle uh, polish. Hmm. Uh, I open it. Uh, you open it. Um, as you open the uh, thing, you take it out and start uh, putting it on there, start fixing it, ratcheting something. Um, you figure out how to put the, like, uh, uh, put things back together. As you're putting it all back together, you finally find this one last part. You put that, like, wax in that last seal, and suddenly you hear. Fire appears in the eyes of the hangman. Monster, I'm sorry! Stab me as much as you need to! Hey! Oh, hey. Hangman, it's, I'm not your master, but I did fix you. I fixed something. <laughs> uh, you see that uh, the hangman <laughs> writes itself, looks at you and says, You, you have fixed me? Yes, I, uh, I've been trying to fix stuff for a while and it hasn't really worked out, so it's really surprising that this worked out. <laughs> you see, um, as you are like, holding these tools in your hand, um, you like, feel this sense of accomplishment and pride come over you. You were raised by two gnomes. You know how to fix stuff. You see, Heyman looks at you and says, I do not know by what. Magic, you have brought me back from the brink. But know this, I behold the greatest wizard of our age. <laughs> you do. I have to find my master! <laughs> oh, and the hangman tears off. Fabian, as you and Fig come back in the late afternoon, you hear... Do you hear that? Is that a boat? Um, is you it get. Yeah, is is it, it doesn't look like a storm. <laughs> it's an alien. Is it alien? Can I have it? Can, can I have been ride it? Out? You want to ride it? Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm just like holding it, like yes. skidding like, on the it's ground. It's going fast. <laughs> you guys see Gorga riding the hangman peel around the corner. What? What? Um, what? What? The hangman. What? Literally, what? the wheel runs up you, and the hangman like leaps up on you, like <laughs> kind of. Oh, it fuck. deals like five points of damage. Ow! 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is like me. what? Uh, you were hey. uh, hey. broken. <laughs> oh! Uh, what? Uh, Whoa. Everything is. What have? How did you? What had? I uh, did you? Who did? Well, I guess this is spring. Summoned hellish flame from beyond the ken of mortal men. He reached into the nine pits and grasped my soul with fiery claws. Did you? Did you go to hell again? I just put some pipes together mostly, but uh, okay. I guess in a sense I went to hell. Uh, <laughs> For those at home, Gorgug's ninth level is one level of artifice. <laughs> so pretty smart now. Wow. Still very dumb actually, but I have a tinkerer's tool. Can you make me a chain wallet? <laughs> I'll work on it right now. Wait, <laughs> I'll, I'm sorry that your dad's gone and we'll get him back. Oh, yeah, thanks. You should say that. Hey, Gorgug, yeah, yeah. you're a true friend. 
and I'm gonna buy you an orange. <laughs> it's just, it's a thing. It's a pirate yeah, thing. No, it's a pirate I, I've heard, thing. I, read, I think I read a book. Ida opened okay. the corner, crying, tears of flame. A whole orange. That's extremely meaningful. Um, <laughs> thank you. No, thank, thank you. Uh, I kneel down and just pet my motorcycle like a dog. <laughs> she goes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I stabbed you. I let and you stab me and, and then you I didn't was like that. Too sad and I thought you were just full dead and I just kind of abandoned you. Uh, I, I abandoned you by being full dead. No, you, you can't abandon me, your motorcycle. Um, um, the hangman is so delighted to be back the end of the following day, the next day, Kristen, you finish. <laughs> um, and you see a reverberating magic. What do you think Kristen's magic looks like in this moment as you complete uh, the hallow on the van? Um, I know this is kind of messed up, but I think I'm really liking everything I learn about this, like, god of doubt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it kind of looks Galena-esque. Yeah. Galena -esque. Uh, uh, so you see that uh, in this world where this partially like destroyed goddess was Galakea's sister, the final testing the spell, Tracker takes your hand in hers, and you see the power of the moon flows from her, and in the farthest away from Helio Forgotten pure energy of night just surrounds the van. Cool. The darkness of the unknown, not a night of dread or menace, but the true night of who knows what's waiting for us out there. Cool. Um, we're and, like, so it's kind of like her god, the moon, and then my god, this unknown, and we're doing this kind of like <coughs> freaky sister magic. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Scissor sister magic. <laughs> <laughs> You complete the spell. Ida um, looks at all of you and says, I'm going to take you in this new hallowed place that Kristen has created to Arborly. After that, I will have to return to Leviathan. A bunch of pirates broke in while I was gone and stole a bunch of stuff. Oh no. It's okay. There's a reason that I really can't leave. So I'm going to find them, kill them, take my books back, and then I'm going to start to shrink the compass points uh, sort of piece by piece until it's very, very small so that I can bring it to be with you guys as best friends. Great. You can wow, sending awesome. us, we'll sending each other postcards. Okay. Can you say hi to Jungle Down Bin for me? I don't stop. <laughs> know who that is. Honestly, I don't know who it is either. I'm, I just love it. I him. am doing so well. The only thing that can ruin this day is if Jungle Down Bim <laughs> so looked sorry. me dead in my eyes so and sorry. told me um, I was going to shit in my mouth. <laughs> you see that the, the hangman says, Sire, by the nine hells and all the malice of the pit, I will shit in Jungle Down Bim's mouth. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we'll figure out, Gorgon will help us figure out how to make you shit, and then we'll find Jungle Down Bim. Give me we'll a mechanic, <laughs> give me a mechanical stomach and butthole <laughs> that I may shit in his mouth. <laughs> um, now what? Now what? You don't know how you would begin to do that. Um, you give uh, yourself a mechanical stomach. Um, I'm going, uh, Ida says, best of luck in the next leg of your journey. I will join you after you have completed your quest. Um, she says, and now as my final favor to you, my best friends, my best friends, God, it means a lot. This is hard emotionally. To Arborly, your success in the retaking of the Nightmare King's crown. <laughs> Ida brings you through a flash of fire, into a dark, dim forest. Around you trees rise in all directions, knotted and gnarled in the shadow of the Nightmare King's forest. You look around you and see structures hidden in the darkness of the trees. You perceive beyond this place things hidden thorns off in the distance of the woods. You see mist gathering, and then you turn to look behind you. 
and you see a really nice, well-appointed mansion, like a very sick house with like built partially into the trees, doors carved into the woods of the living trees, going up into platforms and branches and tree houses. Uh, and you see the gates of Holly Hill, the uh, manor that you were told about. Uh, I think I know the key code here. Oh, cool. sick. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. Oh. And that's all for this week <laughs> on Fantasy High Sophomore Year. Uh, tune in next week for the continuing adventures of the bad kids oh. and the quest to reclaim the crown of the Nightmare King. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.